Let me just. Hey, Twitch, my... Come on, refresh. Refresh. Twitch. Put my creative dashboard so I have that open so I can just check if anything, anyone's being naughty in the chat. Naughty. So I can, so I can do my actual job as my, as my own streamer. Stream, do you guys stream, hear stream. the bot? Uh. No. Huh? No. No? Why, why the fuck's he not talking? Huh? Uh, because, oh, uh, because it's not playing, I don't think. Is it not playing? Let me try. Oh, I know why, Lois, because we just stopped the last one. I didn't, you didn't, like, you didn't cancel it. There we go. Yeah. Where the f Lois? God damn it. What? Oh. <laughs> Phone, why are you being such trash? I'm trying to get your stream popped up so I can. Down a bit. Oh, this is the bot. Mm -hmm. So take your bot, um, take your mouse and like I'm right sure click on it, and then you can adjust the sh you can adjust the thing from there. Make sure everything's actually working oh. as well. What? Why is it saying? Okay, give me a second. What's it under? Rhythm. I still can't hear the bot at all. Oh dear lord! It actually works. Holy shit! Oh. <gasps> wow. Who knew? Also, welcome, JT. JT silent. In the north. Silent, JT. Oh my god. Silence in the north. I don't. I hope that I don't turn. Bowie into another taller. Oh, and what does I that think. mean? There we go. Updated the the, the stream information. So, Lois, can you cancel out the entire queue? Uh, I can just mm. skip out everything. Yeah. There you are. It's just called exclamation point leave. Back to my stream, you guys. No. Oh my god. Right, <laughs> what what is this? Yeah. Ads. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ads. There we go. Let's get going, boys. Hell yeah. Alrighty then. Are we all ready to start? Yes, maybe. Let's start this wonderful and wondrous campaign. Once Lois is able to get the bot to work. <laughs> Once it works. Actually, wait, I should probably put on stream. I should probably put myself on streamer mode instead, actually. I mean, yeah. So, do you want it? Even... It's, in, it's in, so like, just let me know when you want it to start, and I'll just play it. Okay. So, just let me know when, and I can play it because privileges of being the owner. Yay! Alright, give me just a second. I'm gonna switch my headphones because my current ones are making me really hot. Yep, that's fine. Mm. I'll be clicking back forth in the chat to make sure that no one's misbehaving. Hold on. I'm gonna pull a big brain move. I'm gonna have both Discord and speaking Twitch on here so I can monitor both. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I'm doing the same thing, All but right. I have two separate devices. Actually, Justin, three if I really feel like getting my phone speak. out. <laughs> okay, Mr. Speak, yada, 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 yada. Can you guys hear Justin? Keep going. Yeah. We can hear yeah. Justin. Yeah, yeah we, we can hear Justin just fine. They can hear me. Okay. We can hear Justin just fine. <laughs> <laughs> this campaign's going off to a great start. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Eight minutes, in, in, in. Twitch ad. Why? Eight minutes in, we're already making just puns. Alright, Lois, if you want, go ahead and start the bot. <laughs> Alright, give me just two seconds to open up Twitch on my Wait. phone. Just make sure no thoughts are misbehaving. If you guys don't want to hear it, that's okay, but Lois, I ask to at least have it up a little bit so the stream can hear mm -hmm. it. Yep, uh, I've got I've got a 1% mm -hmm. on my end. Okay. Alright, is everyone ready? Yep. Okay, let's start this train wreck. <laughs> All right. So, as yeah. you guys look around, wherever you are in the city, the city is absolutely bustling with it. No matter where you are in the city, you can see and hear traveling sales carts trying to sell their goods, along with mothers mm. doing their best to keep their children under control as they do errands and the occasional neigh of a horse or mule as they've been spooked. 
there is the occasional group of guards marching by, and you can hear their armor clinking together and their, their loud foot stomps as they go about the streets patrolling for any troublemakers. You see and hear random chickens that escape their owners and the occasional dog or two begging for food. Most of the carts consist of small trinkets used for decorations or even toys. Um, there's also a louder area of the city, the center of the city, where there is more of the shopping district. And you can, no matter where you are, that is absolutely the loudest part of the city. It is being crowded. The area for the city doesn't smell too badly, despite there being horse or mule droppings in the city streets. The air is clean and cool as this air wafts from the mountains above. It's giving a nice piney smell to the city. We're going to start off with Alina. Okay. You ready, Lois? <laughs> kind of. All right. Um, we start off with Alina as she finds herself wandering through the streets of King's Watch, exploring the streets and just usually sightseeing. Um... As she wanders around, she manages to find her way to the very center of the city and finds herself staring at a large, beautiful fountain. <laughs> fountain is fairly large. It is 12 feet tall with a very large pool of water at the bottom. The main, at the bottom of the pool, or at the main pool at the bottom, there are four statues and there are cherubs, each at different points in the pool. Each with their each have bowls in their hands and they're pouring water into the pool. Where the main statue stands, there are four women, each with their heads bowed towards the water with their eyes closed. Their hands are closed together or cupped together like in a prayer, but they're open and there's water pouring out of them and into the pool below them. Um, in between these four women, there's a large pillar and a large statue on top of the pillar. At the very, very top, is a magnificent statue of a stone angel. The angel's head is bowed down, and it's staring. It is actually staring down at you, Alina. Its hands are together, like the women are below it. And what makes this statue so magnificent is the pair of large wings stretched out behind it. One wing, from the tip of it to the shoulder blade, is five feet. Anything right now. <clears throat> well then well Lena has never seen anything like this before so she's gonna just sit at it looking in absolute awe at seeing such a something that she's never seen in her time of being in small towns look at it, she's probably gonna like so you're gonna... go ahead oh sorry no it's fine <laughs> she's probably gonna look around just like walk around this walk around the fountain just not really paying attention much to anything else going on around her before finally having a chance to sit down somewhere, literally just sit down in the middle of the uh, of the open area and probably pull out her notebook and just start lightly sketching the the sta the, the statues and the fountain in her book. All right. As you do this, you can't help but be impressed with the workmanship of the of the fountain. Um. You notice that the woman and the angel have gowns on, and the stone gowns look to be as soft as real silk. The craftsmanship on the statue and fountain altogether is very, very beautiful. Um, as you're gazing at the statue and sketching it, you are suddenly splashed with water. You turn your head. And do you turn your head? Uh, yeah, uh, very quickly, Alina's going to close her book and turn around and see who or what splashed her. All right. As you do that, you see a guard making his way towards you. And at the same time, you notice a blue skinned water genasi playing in the water. And now it's for Brooke. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. All right. Found her way traveling through the city, much like Alina. You're taking in the large, bustling city, the full, crowded streets. But as crowded as they were for Alina. 
as you walk through the streets, you don't show it on your face, but you may be quite annoyed with the looks that you're receiving from those walking past you. And you can't help but to hear some of the derogatory terms that some people may be calling you. Is there anything you want to do? You know, just put a smile on my face and ignore it and just keep on walking. Just, All right. Nope, not, not going to let the haters get to me. All right. So uh, you keep, you just, you decide to ignore it. And as you do, you hear someone call you blue skin or freak of water or water freak, something along those lines. But you decide to ignore it and you continue on. Eventually, you are able to find your way to the center of the city. And you also find the very large fountain. So, are you going to approach the fountain? Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm See, approaching the fountain. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Being a water genasi, you're naturally drawn towards water. So you find yourself sitting at the edge of the pool, and you're gazing down at the very crystal clear water. And suddenly you realize that you're actually quite hot, because despite the nice breeze coming from the mountains, it is still a very hot day. Mm. So you decide to cup your, hand, cup your hands into the water and take a nice big drink. As you do that, you realize that you have never in your life tasted water as good as this water tastes. You feel just go straight through your body and it's literally the best thing you've ever felt in your life. Nothing could compare to this. So, as you're doing that, you realize that you are still quite hot even after taking quite a big gulp of water. So, you throw yourself into the water to get a little cooler. As you do, you realize that you didn't realize there was someone sitting next to you before. And oh, you have now splashed a young girl. And at the same time, you also realize that there is now a guard making his way towards the two of you. <sighs> oh, oh no. And, <laughs> and now we're going to talk to somebody else. Uh... So, this one is someone who does not want to interact with others he does not know. So we currently find Hoot on traveling along the rooftops. Nowhere near the center of the city. He is actually doing a job right now, and he's watching a woman dressed in a red dress walk past him in the alley, completely unaware of his presence. What will you do, Justin? I continue watching out of sight. And I scaled down just slightly more, just so I could hear, like, if any words are being said. All right. So as you watch, the woman actually disappears behind a corner. Do you continue to follow her? Okay. As Hoot rounds the corner, he finally he's able to catch catch up with the woman. And as he does, he sees her walk straight into the arms of a man. Not just a man, but a guard. He is dressed in full armor from just full on just full armor from head to toe. His helmet is actually off because he took it off to hold the woman for a moment. After making sure there's no one watching them, to their knowledge, the guard ushers the woman into the back door of a house. Well, who would follow? He would follow to the door just to listen. Okay. So Hoot quickly hops over several rooftops and makes his way to the house. He's able to drop down very quietly and peeks through the back window of the house, which is not guarded for some reason. The guard seems to have overlooked that the detail of the house. And he watches as this guard and the woman share a very passionate kiss. Will you make any sounds or do anything to disturb them? Okay, at this moment, 
Hoot decides to leave, and he heads back towards Town Square to meet up with the guard who actually hired him to follow on this woman, who is actually his cheating wife. Stay wow. here. Yes. Very quiet. Okay. Are you ready for your part, JT? Yes. Okay. So next up is Darius. He finds himself looking around the markets in the center of the city, just like everyone else. But unlike them, he's not sightseeing. He, Darius finds himself looking for someone. And after a bit of searching, he's able to find a very familiar face in the and begins to walk over to him. So the man is also a human, and he's standing next to a building. Not There's not any traveling carts next to it. It's just a building. And he's standing slightly in the alleyway. The man stands about just a few inches shorter than Darius, and he's wearing a usual ranger outfit. Green cotton pants, a blue cotton shirt, that is covered by some leather, brown leather armor, cards and gloves, and he has a bow and quiver on his back. Darius, you will recognize him as your informant. What will you do? Uh, keep it a low profile. I'm just going to walk up to him and try to usher him into the alleyway before talking. All right. Okay. As you do that, he's going he's going to follow your lead and he's going to very discreetly and quietly walk into the alleyway and make sure there's no one nearby listening, which there is not. So you are free to talk as you please. And since it is so loud around you, there is no possible way that no one will hear you, especially since there's no windows. Uh do you want me to have narrative control or for the moment, yes. Well, I should have known I'm here. So, let me, has word reached the military here just yet? From what, from what we have seen, no. They have seemed to, they don't seem to realize that you are here in the city just yet. Which is very good for your sake. Indeed it is. Well, do you know anything of Abigail? Or whereabouts, or...? Oh, I'm sorry. We've been... We have people looking everywhere for her, for any sign or sight of her. It's as if she's gone off the face of the earth. We have nowhere... We have no idea where she could be. Damn it. Well... I don't want to waste too much time here, but just keep looking. I'll be back in a week. Just right. stay safe out there. So, as you are talking to your informant, you realize that there is someone calling out to you. Not by name, just yelling in your general direction. And as, are you going to turn to see who it is? Very slightly, but okay. subtly. As you do, you see that it is a guard that is standing beside the fountain with two girls next to him. A little girl that seems to be around 14 years old with brown hair and a braid, and a woman with blue skin and blue hair. And he has a face, and he's waving his hand towards you, gesturing you to come to him. Me. He's going to uh, very carefully and calmly walk over there. All right. And now we're going to hop to somebody else. So we're actually hey. going to hop. We're actually going to hop back to Hoot. So Hoot finds his way eventually to the middle of the city. And after a moment of looking, finally is able to find the person who hired him. He makes his way across the plaza to reach the man, and unfortunately he can't go across rooftops because the fountain is not anywhere near any, any buildings. And as he walks across the plaza, 
he hears different names targeted towards him. The most common one Coop will hear is fucking Magpie. You ignore these names and you finally reach your contractor. The guard who a guard who is covered from head to toe in armor. The armor was different from other guards that any of you have seen before in the city. This set of armor is trimmed in gold with every single piece of it covered in ornate golden designs. On the back of this man, he wears a deep red cloak, which also has ornate gold lining. And even though he has a helmet on, you can see that he has a very well-kept black beard. This is no ordinary captain, as you can tell. This is actually the captain of the guards. The same man who actually hired you, Hoot, as a spy to, to spy on his wife. He seems to be staying next to two girls and a man. What do you do? I slowly walk up, but, like, don't initiate conversation. Okay. So, as you do, he's going to look down at you and go, well, what did you find? He seems very annoyed with your lack of speech. Um, Ard House Red Dress Alley thing, but with like different tones per each word. Okay. He seems to get the gist very quickly, and you can see for a moment he looks very angry. But he quickly hides the emotion and nods his head. Thank you. Here is your payment. He is going to hand you a small red bag, and upon opening it, you find 100 pieces of gold. So feel free to add that to your inventory. Then he's going to turn and look at all four of you. Now that business is out of the way, I will need the four of you to follow me. The king is expecting you. There is supposed to be a fifth of you, but since they are not here, they will be brought in by another guard. Yes. Yes. Dad, no. <laughs> so I suppose all of you are going to follow him? I'm going to like try and drive myself off first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like just shake myself like violently. At least, would you like wipe off some water that she's probably still been splashed on, and just kind of just look up and just go, "Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll come." <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I get you? Did I get you wet? Uh, it's um, it's it's no problem. It's fine. It's just a little bit of water. Nothing, nothing to hurt me. Uh, uh, okay. Gar is going to chuckle for a moment at this, especially. At Alina, because he seems, even though he does not know Alina, he seems very fond of her. Maybe he reminds you of his own daughter, or wishes he had a daughter like you. But he's going, you're all going to turn and follow the guard towards the castle. As you make your way north towards the castle, you're suddenly stopped. Uh oh. Okay. You're suddenly stopped by a human man flying out of a tavern window. There's a loud crash as he goes through the window. Glass is all over the ground. People part away from this man as he flies. He hits the ground with a, loud, with a very loud thud. And he's going to slide a few feet before hitting some barrels and spooking some chickens. And they cluck very loudly as they move away from him. There are feathers going all over the place as they attempt to fly. After he's able to stop and he you all turn back towards the tavern to see what exactly just happened as you do you see a female tabaxi exit the door of the cavern of the tavern and she seems very annoyed with the man what will Bowie do so Bowie was just minding her own business until this until this racist fuck started, you know, doing things. And so... Eh. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do at this point. Eh. Uh, damn. Bowie's gonna walk up to this man and just pour the rest of her water skin on the man's face before casting... What's his face? Cure Wounds. 
All right. As you do, um, any wounds that he had on his face or arms, like any scrapes or cuts from flying out the window and hitting the ground, very slowly disappear. But you watch as they do heal, and he is back to full health. May this may this be a lesson from the gods. The man is going to seem very shocked for a second before very quickly getting up and running away from you. Although he looks as though he obviously regrets doing anything to encounter you. As this happens, the guard is going to chuckle. And he's going to go, ah, I was just wondering where you were. I would like to introduce you four to your fifth comrade for the evening. And he's going to gesture towards Bowie. Uh, is, is that a normal thing that happens? <laughs> Trust me, it is normal for me. Hmm, sounds fun. Sure. Yeah. Lee's just gonna like just sigh and just kind of just look over to Boo and just go, Sorry about most of the people here. Uh, well, I, oh, no, I, I, um, put my yeah. hand out towards Boo and it's like, Name's Brooke. Hi. The name's like, Bowie. Bowie Nettle. We're gonna, we're gonna shake hands. <laughs> <laughs> yes, shake the hand. All right. All right. So the guard lets you exchange pleasantries for a moment before he speaks again. Now that we have all that out of the way, please let us continue. Castle. So, I'm going to assume everyone follows him again. Yep. Mm -hmm. He gives a little yeah. nod and just goes, okay, let's go. Yes. I said, who picks up feathers and glass? Okay. Did you guys hear Justin? Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. So, after who picks up his glass and feathers and puts them into his bag, the captain leads you all a little more down the road before he brings you to a horse-drawn carriage. The carriage was very obviously sent by the king, and there's people staring at this carriage, wondering if the king himself is here. But he is not. The main body of the carriage is black, but it is decorated in golden designs along the door, under the windows, and atop the carriage. There is very ornate gold trimming. There's different swells, like very royal. It's, it looks very royal for a carriage. On top of the gold trimming at the top of the carriage is a crown. To symbolize even more, if you didn't know already, that this is a royal carriage. These are trimmed in gold, and the lanterns that are on the four corners of the carriage are made of solid gold. Holy and crap. the lanterns are the and the lanterns are unlit due to it being in the middle of the day. Fancy. So the captain is going to open the door and gesture for the five of you to enter. Do you enter? Yeah, yeah. I enter. It climbs on top of it. It's a bit, it's a bit <laughs> fancy for comic fancy going in it. <laughs> Will Darius also enter with the others? Uh, I mean, he's gonna try, but he has a giant spear on his back. <laughs> oh right! I have like a big staff. I'm probably gonna like take that off and like move it in so it doesn't get oh. like caught on the doorway. <laughs> My brain is just thinking of, like those moments when like a dog tries to go through a door and it's just like the stick's too big. <laughs> so as don't big worry. problems. Don't don't as worry. I have my head verb. Hey, what? What are you saying? I have rope that he can tie his weapons to. Oh my god. No. <laughs> so, just, the guard, just let it dangle on the back. No. Is that some of you may be struggling to get some of your longer weapons into the ca to the carriage. He's going to ask if you would rather have him hold them in the front for the duration of the ride. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind. I had him like my big staff. Okay. Uh, Very... Yes, please. I appreciate that. Thank you. He's going to give a nod towards both of you. And then, I assume, after that is over, you enter the carriage. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Okay. 
So once inside, you can see that the cushions are all a nice beige color and there's no stains on these cushions. They're very, very, very clean. And you can see there's a nice window at the back of the carriage that is lined in a nice deep red paint. The captain climbs to the front of this, to the front to sit next to the driver, turns and gives Hoot a very odd look. Anything and turns back and nudges the driver and you all start towards the castle. Would any of you like to say or do anything? Copies back. Would you like to like me to carry the weapons? The guard is going to say no. I have it, but thank you. Well, he's just going to stay quiet. Okay. Darius is just going to sit silently. I mean, I think I might start like sketching something, like maybe the I don't know something like maybe. <laughs> You know, I'm going to start sketching uh, Lena because she looks pretty. She's a cute kid. Might do some, like, watercolors over it. Like, a little rough thing. Nice. Okay. Um, gonna, like, what is Darius doing? Oh, go ahead. He's just huddling up in the corner like a true edgelord. <laughs> <laughs> you know, once I'm done with Lena, I'm going to draw the edgelord in the corner. <laughs> Drawing the egg lord in the corner. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't know Sylv was here. <laughs> Dustin, try moving over here. There's some people that can't hear you very well in the chat. I don't have any port notes open, so it's okay. Oof. So, you're all basically minding your own business, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not really talking besides the two girls sketching each other, basically, I think, what you're doing. I mean, at least gonna pretty notice Brooke sketching her and just kind of just look and go, um, uh, okay, do you want me to, like, pose or something, or you just want me to just sit here normally? No, 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 you're, you're, you're good. You got, you got a essence to you, just the way you are. Just pretend I'm not here. <laughs> uh, I'll try. Thank you, I guess. This is really sweet of you. I just know you, but thank you. Uh, you're, you're welcome. All right, so... This goes on for the duration of the ride, so you're all able to pass the time very quickly. And it's actually thankful, you're all very thankful that the captain get, brought a carriage, because otherwise you would have had to walk quite a distance to the castle on foot. So, it's going to hit on the side of the carriage to get your attention. And you're all able to look out the windows and look upon the castle. Whoa. Right. Not quite. There are some curtains blocking the window. But he's able to ju he jumps down from the carriage and opens the door once again. Allowing the four of you to jump down. Or to jump to get out. And who, I'm guessing, jumps down. Okay. Yeah. Now that you're out, you can finally see the castle up close. Full view. The castle is made of what looks to be white marble, and it, it, it literally sparkles in the sunlight. There seems to be maybe quartz mixed in with the marble. There are ornate windows, through ornate or arched windows throughout the walls of the castle, but each are too high to see through properly. Some are covered in curtains on the inside. The closest window that you can see is 20 feet off the ground. Out of economy distance for any of you, even Hoot. You can all appreciate the ornate carvings in the stone, especially those of you who don't travel to larger cities that often. The captain motions for you to follow him, and he leads the five of you into the large front door. The door is... Looking. It's made of very solid, dark oak wood. And there is very ornate hot iron hinges that cover most of the door. And you can tell that whatever blacksmith made these, made these doors 
is very good at their craft. So he's going to. Oh wait, are we gonna get our like tall staff spear weapons back? Um. <laughs> yeah, sorry. He's going to give those back to you actually, as he before he opens the door. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Ah. <laughs> so with the help of another guard, he opens the front door and leads you inside, but hardly gives you a little time to look around the room. He continues to lead you up to the large grand staircase. And just like outside, the staircase is also made of marble. And just like the outside of the castle glistens in the sunlight. The railing is, just like the door, made of wrought iron. All inside of it. It's very, very pretty. And the stairs are actually covered in a nice royal blue carpet with trimming with gold trim and at the base of the gold at the base of the blue carpet is a depiction of a lion so as you make your way up the staircase more soldiers actually come to walk with you the captain is walking in front of you leading the pack there to your left there's now two guards to the right, there's two guards, and now there's one guard walking behind you. So, there's no way for any of you to wander off and get lost. You are being led towards the king. There's no way for you to move away. So, the captain continues to lead you down the hallway, acting as if he doesn't even realize the other guards are there. So, as you walk down the hallway... You, there are many, many large windows lining the right side of the hallway. Each of them are arched, and some of them are glass stained. So the sunlight that comes into the hallway offers many variety of colors, from red to yellow, blues, greens, and purples. And it, because of all this light, the unlit torches on the walls are obviously not needed at the moment. In between each window, on the right, and on the left side of the hallway, are portraits of each member of the royal family, either living or deceased. Will any of you like to do anything? Uh, uh, Kevin's going to move to the middle of the group, because he does not trust these soldiers at all. Okay. Um, question. Yes. Is there any open yarn balls? As we travel. No. <laughs> is there any what? Is there any yarn balls that I can clearly see? No, there's not any yarn balls. Gosh. <laughs> okay, good. So Bowie's not going to be distracted. And is actually going to focus. On not unless one of us pull out a yarn ball. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. So don't I'm do doing that. it. I mouse myself. Huh? Remind me to keep the mouse to myself. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> in this moment, where is your little pet mouse? He's, like, in my pocket. Okay. He's hiding in your pocket. Oh, that's good. So, are any... Is the rest of you wanting to do anything at all? Uh, like, seeing all the guards around, like, so, uh, I, I guess we're some special people, then. <laughs> None of them are going to respond. The mo the biggest response you get is some one of them grunting, although... although Although, you are not sure who it is. Hi, silent treatment. Cool. Spe special for either one or one of two reasons. The king wants us to do something, or we're wanted somewhere else. <laughs> Elise has to be like very mildly uncomfortable with the guards, so she just kind of like more back, like closer towards Brooke, and just kind of whisper, I'm very uncomfortable with guards being this close to me. Uh, quick question, how how tall is she? Five foot. Uh, five foot. Okay, she's like <laughs> a bit shorter than me. I like put my hand on her shoulder like, it's okay, kid. Wait. I'll be fine. Who pops in is just Alina's, like, Alina's only yes. five foot? Uh, Alina's five foot, but she's going to be growing as the campaign goes on because she's still 14 and is still a growing kid. Okay, Bowie's just going to tap your shoulders and be like, you're a bit short for a human. Well, I mean, elf thing. She's gonna like I don't look, know what. She go like look to Bowie as uh, she's gonna go. Well, I am only fourteen, so I do have a bit of growing to go. I think. I hope. Sorry. 
I'm sorry, what? I'm only 14. You know, I, I could tell you were a kid, but dang, you're a kid. I, oh, wow. Yeah. I have my reasons for being this out here alone and without... No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't doubt that. Like, I've got the reasons for everything. Can you get under the sink and nope. get me tissue, please? It's fine. Look, I'm just... Yeah, I'm only... I still got time to grow, I hope. I mean, I hope I'm not stuck this small. Everyone's so tall if you're, me. If you're only 14, you got, you. you got many years to go. Just I don't hope. be like me and stuck at the same height for the rest of your life. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to be stuck at the same height for the rest of my life. I do. I do, because I want someone to hug at the same height as me. You know, that's cute. <laughs> yes. We just kind of just gonna, like, you know, go very quiet and just kind of go very shy again and just kind of just all like that little bit of confidence she just had at the moment. She's going to just kind of lose it and just kind of just like, uh, yeah, and just kind of nifty scratch the back of her neck and just carry on walking. You're welcome for the awkward moment. <laughs> <laughs> all right. As the guys hear this little conversation, you hear a few chuckles, but... As soon as you hear that, the captain gives a very loud grunt, and they all silence themselves immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Alina's just gonna kind of like give like a bit of a smirk. <laughs> it really need to be so secretive. No one responds. So you finally reach the end of the hallway, and the captain is going to turn and look at the party. And he has a very serious look on his face and a very serious tone to his voice. It's the complete opposite of me. Yeah. <laughs> He's obviously demanding your attention. You are about to enter the presence of the king. Do not speak unless spoken to. And he's going to turn and look at a hoot. Do not touch anything. <laughs> mm. This he's going to turn and open the door. The door to this to this room matches the front doors. So he opens the door, and you all walk into a very spacious throne room. Ceiling is very high above your heads, and it comes to a dome. Along the dome ceiling, there is different paintings. Some are religious, some are of battle, some are of ancient creatures like dragons <clears throat> fighting soldiers. There is different pictures, and it is very breathtaking. Along the windows, there are many arched windows. And there is blue tarps in between each window, each with a lion insignia made of gold. So, there is a carpet on the ground that leads up towards the throne. And upon the throne sit... Hello, oh, no, not yet. Along the carpet, there is... Small marble pillars, and on top of these pillars, there is vases. And I'll, when I mean small pillars, I mean they're all elite. They're all shorter than Alina. <laughs> so, in on the top of the pillars, there are vases, and in these vases are nice white flowers. So, on the ground, there is a nice royal blue carpet, and it leads your eyes all the way up and your eyes finally land on the person you're there to see. There is two seats in the back of the room. He sits the king and the other his queen. So is there anything either of any of you want to do? Probably shouldn't say anything. Yeah, that would be the best thing to do right now. Yeah, we should. We shouldn't say unless spoken to. That's I mean. I'm like gonna make myself like I'm gonna because I was like slouching on my hands in my pockets. I'm gonna like get in more like presentable like like stand up straight, get my hands out of my pockets, like you know, like try yeah. to actually look like a respectable creature. <laughs> <laughs> We're just looking around for any near. Well, I mean, as exit as, as, as possible. No, like I'm trying to look as respectable as I can, um, as respectable as a person with a club. With them can look. 
Darius is going to do a uh, formal half bow that's comfortable for him without uh, jabbing anyone without the with the giant spear on his back. <laughs> <laughs> it pales. The, the two giant spears on his back. He's not holding any. All right. Yeah. So Bowie, Bowie herself is gonna kneel down like how a, you know how a cleric should. Alina's gonna give an attempt at a bow, but she's never bowed before, so it probably doesn't look the best. I, I I see everyone doing this, and I just do the same. I'm like, oh crap! I should probably do something. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. All right. So the captain actually seems to like your actions. He, even though Darius doesn't give a full bow, the fact that he tried to bow at all, despite his weapons on his back, he gives a very, he gives a slight nod, a small smile, and he and the rest of the guards move away from the party and they actually move to block the door. No one can move, no one can leave or enter at this point. Mm. So, everyone's eyes are drawn back to the king. And the king is sitting straight up in his chair. He is, his back is straight against the back of his chair. He is covered in a full suit of armor, all except for his head, which only holds his golden crown. His, he- his crown is made of pure gold. He has a full head of brown hair with some gray along the edges and inside his hair and his full brown beard. And this obviously shows his age. He has tied along his waist that go, it goes down between his legs. It's a dark blue sash that has yellow or gold designs. If you're not sure which, um, on his back, just like the captain, he has a cape, except this one is a very pretty royal blue color with gold trim and at the top of the cape along his shoulders is bright white fur. You're not sure what kind of animal it is. His queen sit next to him. She is dressed in a royal blue dress that flows all the way down to the floor. And she has white trim along her collar and along her sleeves. She is undoubtedly one of the prettiest women any of you have ever seen. She has long golden hair that cascades down her shoulders and it reaches almost to her waist, just before her waist. And from the way the sunlight hits her hair and the crown upon her head, she looks as though she is glowing. As the party enters, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was about to just make a small little comment, but she'll never be as beautiful as my mother. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> as the party enters, the king raises his hands, and the guards move away towards the door. Is there anything any of you would like to do? Nope. Escape. Pro- uh, <laughs> Escape. Okay. What's spoken to? What else can we do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So, um, pro- yeah. go ahead. No, no, no I was just going to do a admire how pretty the queen is. <laughs> all right. So, the king is going to see that you're all making an attempt to stay quiet. And he seems to enjoy the fact that you're all trying to be courteous. And he's going to stand from his chair and say, Welcome to King's Watch. I am Edmund, your king. Thank you all for answering my call. Five of you are wondering why I've called you here and perhaps why I've called the five of you specifically. This is more of a statement than a question. And he's going to turn to look at Darius first. All of your victories against goblins and orcs and how you yourself have helped save many people's lives from these creatures. He's going to turn next to Alina and say, for someone so young as yourself, I have heard many things about you. I have heard that you are a splendid healer for your age. And not only that, you are also a very good archer. I've also heard many good tales about the woman who helps guide our sailors through storms. Without you, he turns to Brooke, 
Without you, some of the sailors in Ocean's Edge would not be alive. Some of these sailors are good friends of mine. He's going to give you a thankful nod before turning to look at Bowie. Ah, yes. My feline friend. I have heard... (laughs) I have heard... Shut up! I have heard that not only are you an excellent fighter, but a healer as well. Upon saying this, the captain is going to... The captain, who is standing against the wall with the other guards, is going to clear his his throat, getting the king's attention for a moment, and say... This evening, sire, she was actually throwing a man outside of a window at a tavern. (laughs) The the king is going to give a hearty chuckle and give a very... He's going to give a um, smile. I am not the least bit surprised. Then he's going to turn to the last person and say, last but not least, our fine feathered friend here, I hear that no one else in this, no one else in the kingdom is as good as you when it comes to gathering information. Then he's going to look at all of, he's going to back away and look at all of you and say, have I forgotten anything? He now seems to be letting you speak. No, no, Lord. Plays and just stays complete, <laughs> quiet. Okay. We just gonna be like nervously shuffling her feet, just kind of just unsure what to say it in the presence of the king. <laughs> just more like look, look, just more like looking to like her size to see if anyone else is gonna say anything, and she can probably pitch in with that. But she's just too nervous <laughs> to know what to say. So, who is gonna, gonna turn to the god? Sorry. No. Uh, Okay. Go ahead. Bowie's, Bowie's gonna turn to the guard who basically, you know, informed the king about, you know, me talking to someone else through a tavern window. And I'm just gonna say, I only fight if I have to. Especially if it means to teach a lesson to those un- uninformed about what their actions cause to other races. <laughs> the guard is actually going to give you a nod but he's not going to say anything. I'm just going to actually look over at the queen and see if he's seen her anywhere before. The king is going to clear his throat to gain your attention, and he's going to speak and say, now as for the reason why I called the five of you here, have any of you heard of the new world that many are calling Calamus? Yeah, a little bit from some of the sailors telling me about some stuff. Oh, you just gonna shake her head. No. It just gives a thumbs up being like, I have no clue. <laughs> can, what if, can I make what an about? intelligence check? To see if I know about it. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Okay, uh, that's it. This would work, please. Okay, <laughs> screw, screw it. I'm gonna roll in spectators chat because I'm too lazy to scroll all the way up to dice roll. <laughs> nice. Okay, what's my intelligence again? Let's see. Uh, ability saves and senses. Okay. Intelligence is 15. Plus two. Plus two. Yep. Roll the 20. Watch you in that one. one. I got a seven. Nine. You are not sure if you know anything about Calamus. Okay, so... Oof. Bad burb. What'd you say? Are you saying anything? Uh, no, not really. It was just oof. Does Darius think he knows anything about Calamus? I mean, I would assume he does as a, uh, as a ranger, but I'm not entirely sure. All right. Well, 
The, that is the reason I have called the five of you here. In Calamus lie the crystal that I greatly desire. The people who live there call it aquafinium. This crystal stores unknown amounts of magic inside of each small piece. I want the five of you to travel to Calamus and gather as much for me as you can. I have been told by my soldiers that the farther into Calamus that you go, the more powerful the crystals. Soldiers gather the crystals instead, but there are two native tribes, the Calamus, that have been quite some trouble for my troops. We know them as the Simia and the Akaki. He's going to say each word, each race word, Simia and Akati, with a bit of annoyance in his voice. The crystals can only be found near these two tribes' settlements. We are not sure why at the moment. But now, since we have that out of the way, I am aware that some of you may not have been ideal citizens. At least it's gonna freeze here in this. And look very nervous. I look around at the suspicious individuals, which is not Alina. <laughs> <laughs> he just crosses his arms being like, I am so pissed off at all of you. <laughs> I, sp I specifically look at who like <laughs> like, suspicious as frick looking. And then I also look at Edge Lord over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's his name now, it's not Darius. It's... <laughs> I'm just gonna sort of inhale through. Yeah, I'm just gonna sort of inhale through. Oh, hey, JT. Hello? 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 As an edge lord, it's obviously yeah. not a model citizen. He's just going to uh, sort of inhale sharply, but other than that, try and make no <laughs> other indication that he's a guilty man. All right. Louis, Louis just going to cross her arms and roll. Her. It's just, <laughs> it's just another typical human looking for more power. How much is this going to cost us? He's going to ignore any comments made, and he's going to look and he's going to turn and look directly at Darius. <laughs> you served your troops quite well, but as I've heard in the end, you deserted them. He raises his hand before Darius or anyone else can respond. But that does not matter anymore, at least not in this city. All of you are pardoned from any crimes that you have may have committed while you are in the premise of the city. Safety far. Once the five of you pass Moonheller Island, I will not be able to pre protect you, any of you, from being arrested or imprisoned. Will any of you respond to this? I mean, I'm gonna look at Darius like, I wasn't expecting him to be the shifty type! <laughs> Please just, just, just take a sigh of relief. Like, I just, I just, I, yeah, and I'm looking at him like, eh, I wasn't expecting that, like... Mm. Hands in his pocket, being like, okay, we're good. <laughs> Will Bowie or Darius respond in any way? Not, not really. Bowie's just gonna hold on to a holy talisman, which... Actually, it's literally I know. just like balls of fur attached to a piece of string. <laughs> it's like, you know, worst case, just, I gotta say, like, mumble and with worst case scenario, I abandon all of you and swim in, and go in the water. <laughs> it's, and, I'll dra and I'll drag your fish ass back up here. Only just kind of like look to Bowie, just to, I was like, hey, don't say that. That's not very nice. Ah, well, heard worse. well, they can call me a cat rug anytime. Will Darius respond to what the king or the party has said? Darius is just going to sort of keep his eyes at the staring at the king's feet and just mutter, Thank you, my lord. Okay. The king is going to give a smile, and he's going to nod at Darius, but he chuckles a bit at the party's interaction and spreads his arms wide and says, Perfect! Now, I suppose, it is time I offer you gifts. 
Oh. He snaps his finger loudly, and the sound echoes throughout the room. And a door opens to the left, and six different servants enter the room. Each servant is holding a different item. <gasps> mm. Big, big <laughs> gas. <Second> anything? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Never. So, um, the king, or not the king, the servants all line up one by one beside each other. So they're each standing in front of you. And the king is going to step forward and pick up the first item. And then he's going to walk towards Alina and hold out his open hand. Do you accept what is in his hand? Uh, she's going to kind of look, look very nervous, like kind of look to the side and just, uh, but just give it like a smile and I'll just, and, and accept. Okay. You are now holding in your hand a very small ring made of solid gold. This is a ring of endless hunt, and I offer it to you, Alina. Uh, thank you, my lord. I, I, uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Gives a smile and then goes back and grabs the next item before going to stand in front of Brooke. Hey. This is the cloak of protection. May it protect you well as you travel. Oh. Thank you, um, Lord. And, and I accept it, yeah, of course. <laughs> He's going to go back and grab the next item. This is the efficient quiver. And I offer it to you, Hoot. And he's going to hold it out for Hoot to take. The efficient quiver. I'll explain later. I'll explain in a bit. Okay. Um, he looks at it, mumbles out what the guard said, do not touch any anything, but then, like, slowly takes it. <laughs> the king is going to chuckle a bit at your response and say, it is quite alright, you may take this. So, he then goes back and grabs the last item, and then go to Darius and say, Ag of Holding serves you well. <gasps> Yo. He holds it out for Darius to take. Darius will graciously accept. I do like how I'm the Probably only one. Probably fumbling a little bit in the unexpected way, but picking it up quickly. You forgot about Bowie. <laughs> and, and last but not least, I offer this rope of climbing to you, Bowie. Lope of climbing. Okay. He's going to step away and say, I hope that all of these items serve you well on your journey. But I have one last gift for each of you. Mm -hmm. He snaps his fingers loudly, and the lost servant quickly steps forward and hands each of you a small red bag. Huh. And each of these bags is 1,000 gold pieces. Oh, oh, thank God, I'm fucking oh, skint. Oh my God. <laughs> so, oh, yes. One thousand? Yes, one thousand. Oh we my don't know God, this is all going to. Add that like, to okay. the amount of gold you already have. We all know my what my current reaction is the same reaction as, as Brooke right now. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, that is so much gold. <laughs> gonna chuckle a bit and say, I... Use the use this to buy any supplies that you will need for your journey. I don't see gold. I see a room full of yarn. <laughs> I swear to God, if you use this money to buy only yarn, I'm throwing the yarn in the ocean. I'm no, no, I'm, I'm not ball bearing. No, no, I'm, I'm not all of this campaign. Okay. Flash, swear to God. <laughs> I might use it to buy 10,000 ball bearings again, but... No! <laughs> no! No, no I'm not going to do that. Stop! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to campaign. Alright, so... The king is going to smile, and... 
is able to say anything else. His queen is going to step forward. She has her hands together in front of her as she walks towards each of you, as she walks towards the party, and she's going to smile very sweetly at all of you. And she's going to say, I hope I I hope that all of you have a very safe journey and that death to reach any of you. It's gonna hold back a chuckle. <laughs> Does anyone else respond? Mm-hmm. Well, you just uh, oh, go ahead. No, no, like, uh, thank you. Ali just, like, you know, is still, like, looks like, uh, well, looks, to the he did not have to speak at first with the amount of gold, but then he's able to speak up when the queen says, uh, speaks to all of them. She just looks up and just goes, thank you, my lady. I, I hope you also have a good life here, and I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not used to interaction with royalties. I've barely left my towns. She's going to give you a very soft smile and say, it is quite all right, my child. I give her a smile as well because I'm like, she's so cute and shy. <laughs> Alina's just shy. like, Alina just like kind of looks, just look, just realizes it, just goes, oh, I feel so weird being the youngest here by a lot. I'm sorry for being so shy, everyone. Yeah, that's cool. I think I'm, I might be the oldest, actually. <laughs> How old are you? Like pat her shoulder and copy what the queen just said. It's quite all right, my child. (laughs) Uh, Unless anyone's older than thirty-three, I'm the oldest. (laughs) (laughs) Well, there is a fully reactive. This. (laughs) Just in the same way he always does. Probably an honorable head dip and a thank. Think. Single thing. As it seems to go a bit quiet, Lena just kind of just speaks up a bit and just kind of seems to find a little bit more of a voice, a little bit more confidence in herself again. Just goes, we will do our best. I promise you that. At least from me. I, I can't speak for the rest of them here, but I- I'm sure they'll do great. <laughs> I'm, I'm with the kid on that. <laughs> do you doubt my me. ability? <laughs> don't I, don't doubt anybody's I, abilities. I, I, I don't doubt your abilities. I'm sorry if I insulted by saying that. <laughs> look, 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 look what you've done. Look, look. Come on, man. <laughs> As the king and queen <laughs> listen to the the friendly bickering among the three of you, they're both they're both going to chuckle a bit. And the king is going to give a final nod to each of you. Excuse me. The king is going to give a final nod to each of you and gesture for the captain to come forward and say, please make sure that our friends here find it safely to the plaza so they may buy anything they need for their journey. Shopping time. (laughs) Catherine is going to nod his head and say, yes, my lord. And then he's going to gesture for all of you to turn and follow him. And once again, the other guards from before are going to go around the party so that no one may get lost in the castle. I I resume a more comfortable position for myself. (laughs) All right. all right, so fast travel to the plaza. <laughs> Yay! Fast travel, Sky and fast travel. Yay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Because we're too lazy to walk from Dragon to Reach Dwight, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, guys, I just realized I didn't prepare, so I just ate dinner, but. Oh no, I, I-, I want dessert, but. It's it's all the way over there. No, what have I done? <laughs> First world problems. <laughs> Go get it. Ah. I didn't think this through. Go get it quickly. Ah. All right. So at this moment, you guys may do any shopping you need. Woo, shopping time. Oh god. Actually, you know what? I have Kit Kats next to me. I'm just gonna eat the Kit Kats. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Look, I have a quest. Okay, rest in peace, my Kit Kats. I just, I mean. Oh, yeah, now, <laughs> now, now I gotta look, look at a little bunch of stuff for shopping. Oh, God, this is gonna be fun. Yes, 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 yes. It's okay if we can do a bit of role playing here. Don't mind me eating the Kit Kats. That's fine. I gotta think about what we need. It's only the cost of things it does, thank god for that. Mm. Uh, I, oh my god. I was Alina, birthed from look, a parasite. I have a, I have oh. a <laughs> but, Um, what is it? Can you guys shop with me? Uh, uh sure. sure. As a tobacco, I have certain urges. Especially around something round, soft, and fun to play with, and extremely eye entrancing. So yarn, you're, you're describing yarn. <laughs> yeah, yes, yarn. Uh, Don't say all that. I okay. I I can't promise that I'll do it all the time. I mean, I might have to go and find my own stuff, but I'll try and stay by as much as I can. That's fine. Just don't make. Just don't let me spend all ten thousand, a hundred thousand gold on not a hundred thousand, one thousand. One thousand, yeah, one thousand. What one thousand? Yeah. Look, I grew up in the jungle. I can't speak and count. Okay, the only thing I know is speaking Vietnamese. <laughs> all right. So, where are we going? Less shopping. Huh. So I'm get. Are you all splitting up, or are you going to stay together? So I know. I know the three of you I'm, are together shopping, but what about? I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going with food. Bowie. It's just gonna very carefully walk around, like on top of the shops. <laughs> just, just food walking on top of all the huts and whatnot. I swear to God. The like, what the fuck? No. Yes. Check. Uh. No, it just falls off a building and like lands somebody like, oh hey, who would have to go and <laughs> actually you know what? Um who get I want you to give me an acrobatics check. I think it's one of the to balance on things. <laughs> Is that what that is? To like to balance on things? Acrobatics? Uh, oh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, it's it's acrobatics. Okay. It's going to the going to the over here. Go Sorry. and scroll up until you see dice rolls. Already there. So do the symbol, the greater than R space. Oh, other symbol. There you go. R space. And then 1d20 plus your um, acrobatics modifier. Yours is 6. What is it? 6. 1d20 plus 6. Space. No. Thing is. 6. Enter. 15. All right. Um. You stumble a bit from the weight because you are walking on tarps or wood or stone. But you're able to balance yourself and distribute your weight enough that you don't fall through the tarps and crash into anybody or their stores. So what's everyone buying? I just I bought myself some rations and some studded leather armor. Nice, nice, nice. Are you uh, buying anything? Hoot. I'm gonna keep looking for stuff to buy for myself. But... Just anything that buy anything. This is for all of you. Buy anything that you think may be useful for the party at any time, whether that be from food to weapons or just literally anything you think may be useful. Uh, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy a few more rations. Mm -hmm. I bought ten glass vials and a brewing kit. Unless someone else already has a brewery, brewing kit. 
I do not. I have a herbalism kit, but... Um... I have blooming salve. Even though I don't know what's being about it. Okay, so as everyone is buying things, there you can't help but notice there are some people, well, not people, there are some kids playing near the fountain, and one of the kids trips while chasing another, and he falls and scrapes himself pretty badly. Uh, but, but, oh, go ahead. but before anyone is able to do or say anything, the kid hops right up and dips himself into the fountain. And after a moment, he comes out and all his wounds are completely healed. Oh. 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 The fountain, the fountain consists of holy water. You know what time it is. I got <laughs> 10 vials. Of, I got 10 glass vials and I know what to do with them now. <laughs> it's not just a fountain anymore, is it? <laughs> Good <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> my ears. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So, um, after witnessing this, oh, yeah. no, I'm gonna see what happened. <laughs> I'm gonna see what. I can go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what happens if I try and bottle like two vials of it. See what happens. Nothing happens. Many people. Everyone does it. It's there's a reason the fountain is there. Okay, but I'm gonna test it if it works outside of the fountain. So I'm gonna swing a mace at my own wrist. No! <laughs> the frick? Maybe not a mace. Like maybe like just slit your wrist a little bit. Like um. Herb, I swear to God. I'm rolling damage right now. No! Maybe not. Splitting a wrist will kill you. <laughs> I am rolling Could you not damage. Just scrape yourself? Could you not just scrape yourself with the rock? Please don't do mace. Please. No. <laughs> no, no here's, the thing. Here's, here's the thing. Okay. You know what? Fine. Just do it. Just, just do it. Don't give me a reason. Just do it. I swear to God, if you knock here's, yourself here's out. If, if, it's gonna, if it's gonna be useful in the middle of combat, okay? It has to be. It has to, like, you know, work. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shield Elena's eyes from, like, no, no, she's probably seen some stuff, but not, no, not taking a risk. <laughs> I deal three damage to myself. That is the okay. cutest chapter. So, hang on a second. I don't remember what a flipping mace looks like. Give <laughs> me a second. You don't know what Well, at one point, Ilya is just gonna just gonna like right, disappear right for the party, and just gonna go. I need to go for a second. I'll be back in a moment. And after mm, about right. some time, she's gonna come back with a fucking horse. <laughs> she's gonna she's like <laughs> <laughs> that's all saddled up and everything. So, as that's Ilya perfect. gets back, she gets back just in time to see Bowie take out her maze. I run over to Ilya, try to shield her eyes, and, and slam it down on her wrist. Is it, is it, did she I shield her eyes or was it too late? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. She, watched, she saw all of it. It was too late. Oh, no! Oh, she's just, just standing there just in horror seeing this. <laughs> no. Bowie misses slightly, and, but is, she's able to scrape her wrist and cut Probably a open. crushed pinky. <laughs> there is obviously some blood. Like It was a pretty nice cut that she was able to do to herself. So, now that that's out of the way... What the pour, actual pour the holy heck? Water down. <laughs> pour the holy water I collected from the vial and see if it works. Roll for healing. I guess. What? What should I roll though? Lois, help me. Um. Lois. Well, wait, 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 wait. Can you do that? Can you roll, you're rolling for. It's holy. It's holy water. He's rolling to heal. Um. I mean, this is holy. I don't think holy water per se heals, but you could probably make up your own. But if you go by just normal healing potions, you a normal healing potion is 
2d4 plus 2 if you want to just do that. Yes, that is that. 2d4, what she said. 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2, okay. Gonna be rolling. I love that Lena just bought a fucking horse. <laughs> What kind of horse is it? I uh, just, it's, it's a draft horse, so it's nothing okay. super... Um... So, everyone watches as Bowie takes a drink. I guess you drink it, what do you do? I'm gonna pour, pour the first vial on the wound and see if that okay. like works. So, everyone... <laughs> I, I know, JT, I'm too lazy. So everyone watches as the water cascades over the small wound, and you're all quite amazed to watch as the skin heals back over itself, and after a moment, there is not even a scar left. The wound is completely healed. So, Boot is going my to see that hard. and go to the fountain, take the mouse out of his pocket, and lay straight back on his back. Just praying that he could get wings, even though he knows it's not possible. We're <laughs> standing up and making like the flapping motion with his arms. Oh, oh, damn! The water has no effect, but you are now wet. <laughs> I'm gonna he bottle. Sighs and walks like, out upset. <laughs> I'm gonna bottle five vials of this. And see if it works. You know, I might as well. I'm gonna empty out my water skin with normal water and like fill it with up up with the holy water. <laughs> Don't wait, <waste> water. <laughs> no, shut. No, I. Okay, fine. I chug all the water that's in my water skin. There we go. <laughs> Remember, it's important to stay hydrated, people. I'm a freaking water ganasi. <laughs> I know, you especially. <laughs> Make sure to put a note that your vials and water skin is full of holy water. Okay. I would do that as well. Oh shit, can you hand me my pencil, please? Thank you. It's, during all this, is there anything that Darius is doing? Well, Darius is going to watch everyone's escapades and mutter to himself. I'm traveling to Calamus with a child and three idiots. <laughs> Before, uh, I'm not an idiot! Going to the fountain and trying to fill a second water skin with the holy water while keeping his first one. Yay! I like that I'm the only one who's not an idiot. I like the fact that I'm the only one who's not classed as an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you're, in, you're in your own... You're, 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 in your, you're in your own league of just child. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I have bought so okay. So okay. Just say. Okay. I'm just gonna walk over to him and just say, "Watch your fucking beak, your bird brain." <laughs> <laughs> I have bought so much shit, but that's because I got a horse, so I can just put it on the horse. Um, literally, I have bought like. I also have a bag of holding. Yeah, which I can put stuff in. I literally bought like okay, who doesn't know? I have bought three tents for two people. <laughs> Bought... Yeah, I'm like looking at the stream right now and I just saw you buying all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just buying tent I bought tents, I've bought um a horse, I've bought healing potions, healers kits, rations. <laughs> um You know, I'm debating if I wanted to get another weapon or just stay with my good old club. Um <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. You do what you think is best. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's what I said. I am not anybody else. My decision. Why is it? Hey, Peach, how much would you say string would cost? Um, I was one. Oh, one gold. So that's how you buy stuff. Yeah. You should figure it out. Because, yeah, it's okay. no one Because string, yeah, string has no prices on uh, D&D &D <laughs> Beyond, so I can't do the normal math that I've been doing this past, like, ten minutes. Oof. <laughs> it doesn't have any price. Yeah, just make it half a gold. All right. Like point five. Yeah. yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm I'm getting some like healer skits. Yeah, so I I so like I thought Lee just bought a horse, but that's just because they're probably gonna need stuff to carry a lot of stuff with. So she's like, so she's gonna use the horses mainly just more for carrying stuff than uh actually riding. 
I'm making sure that we're prepared. I have seen many campaigns where... No, I haven't seen many, but I've seen a few campaigns where you need to just prepare. Does Lane have a backpack? She does a backpack. Good. Nice. Do I have a crowbar? Do I have... I'm just, like, going through just checking everything. I thought that just everyone just buying, like, with me. I'm so, quick question. Off. How many tents did you buy? Uh, three. So, each one, each one, each one is a two-person tent. So, we just have this room for... Yeah. So, two people can fit in... So pretty much four can fit one, and then one person alone, pretty much. Nice. Uh, let's put Edgelord in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Edgelord has his own. <laughs> He's not going to rely on anyone else. Wow. Well, we'll see how it is. Yeah, if that's the case, I'm removing one tent from my inventory. Uh, I need to brood in the back of the camp. <laughs> oh, my dog, so mysterious bad that I won't tell you about. I better sprinkle clues in every conversation. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just like... Fuck it, Here's I'm buying... chapter four of the Edgelord Handbook. <laughs> I'm, fuck it, I'm, I'm buying two flasks of Alchemist Fire because fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look, I have the ability to, so I am. I have so much gold still left. Like, I'm, not, I'm not gonna spend all my gold, but I'm making, I'm making sure that we have enough. Even though that's a, even though it's, it seems like that overcarrying capacity, which technically I am, but then again, all the way it's gonna be a lot of it's gonna be on the horse, like tied up on the horse, so it's gonna be like fine. Um, and plus, you do have a bag of holding, so Alina can probably be very shyly ask for like, "Hey, Daria," <laughs> just very shyly, you would just ask him for some help. <laughs> She's extremely shy. What is this? I don't wanna... So oh, yeah. just let me know when everyone has all their things. Just playing no, a shit no, no, no. Don't add. Don't add. <laughs> got myself some studded leather. Good. I, I've got some leather too. Sweet. I, I don't need to buy arrows because of my oh, ring, yeah. so I'm keeping I'm keeping my twenty arrows just in case if I do somehow lose the ring, so I have some spare arrows. But for the majority, I do not need any arrows. Um, I'm just gonna check everything else, and I'm gonna eighteen. Hmm. 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 You know, what? Hmm. might as well get some darts for the heck of it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just gonna sit here and watch everyone's AC slowly go up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so I have a gift for everyone. Armor Ooh. class. Uh, Can I'm everyone sure add a small knife to the inventory? Justin, add a knife to your inventory. It's Do free. I not have one? It's free. No, um, but we gave everyone one. Oh, okay. Yes. We gave everyone what now? A small knife. Oh. Yeah, he. But we gave everyone a small knife. Ah, so add those nice to your inventory for free. You don't have to take out any gold for those. Sweet. What? How do I do that? Lee's just gonna. gonna thank um, Bowie for the. The knife. Make make sure you keep it in a place that's hidden and easily accessible. Give a because knife. it'll always help Get when you're in a bind. Yeah, you know I hate this thing. Use the touch screen. No. Small knife. It has been added. Yay. Seriously gonna thank Kabooey as well. Like, you might need to turn it on. Put that on the bottom. Oh wait, would would mit, would Mr. Eggsboard like a dagger instead of a small knife? Yes. Already bought one, homie. There. <laughs> oh. Oh. I need to the time. I need to the charger. The echo I'm getting on my stream is great. <laughs> oh, God. Because I have it on my phone. <laughs> I just... I get a nice echo of Bowie and um, Darius talking to Ooh. each other. Oh, I, I can hear in the background. Oh, God. <laughs> I should actually open there, the I should have my stream open to see if anyone's. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. I need a pack attack. Then I forgot. I, forgot, I closed my stream on my phone. I was like, wait, is anyone typing in the chat? And I've been missing it. Oh god. Um, no, they're not typing. No. Yeah. I will be right back. Okay. I'm gonna keep just doing stuff. I'm gonna keep checking if I need anything else. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty close. 
as such, Elena kind of just realizes that she hasn't, like, really introduced herself properly to everyone. Like, nobody knows her name other than, like, well, people do, but she hasn't formally introduced herself. So she's going to just go around to, um, she's going to go to Brooke first, seeing that they've been the nicest one so far. She's gonna... I, wait, quick question. I'm an idiot. What's point one GP mean? Uh, I should... Every that is 10, every 10 item equals That'd one That'd be how gold. many what now? Hmm? Every ten of those items equal one gold. Hmm? No, I mean like, I mean like cost wise, like uh, like one silver. Oh, oh one okay. Silver. Thank you. I'm a dingus. Don't mind me. Trust me, I did the same thing. They have a conversion table in D and D Beyond. Ooh. Yeah, Alina's gonna go up to um. To Brooke first is you know, the one they've talked the most to, and just kind of just pull her hand, just go. Oh, I'm Alina, by the way. I'm sorry I didn't properly introduce myself earlier. I'm still pretty well shy. I have five shields. <laughs> Who wants them? I'm fine with a shield. I already got a shield. Oof. Well, I'm over carrying capacity now. I mean, we have a horse and we have a bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Hello, I have returned. Welcome back. Oh, nice, sweet. I have trouble it. Oh, Wait, sweet. So okay, sorry. So, what was Elena t talking to me uh, Al Getting my uh, everything a, sorted out. It's okay. Alina went up to um, up to Brooke and just said, Hi, I'm uh, Alina. Sorry if I uh, didn't introduce myself properly earlier. I'm still pretty nervous around people. Uh, nah, that's cool, kid. Alina, my name's Brooke. If you didn't catch her earlier. <laughs> I did, I just didn't I just you know um so she got like put out her hand just so the fact so she can uh shake and I shake her like pretty firmly. Like shake her hand pretty firmly. Oh well, he's a little bit like, oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> about this and just he just says I'm just gonna just saying hello to everyone just in case. I, I don't know if uh I forgot to introduce myself properly to everyone, and I didn't get a chance. Gizmo, go away! Sorry, my cat's being an asshole. Right he's, 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 he's half standing on me, half standing off me. Anyway, um, once she's like, once Alina just gives, she gives a little bit of a smile before. I'm just gonna quickly go say hello to everyone else. Uh, I'll be back soon. Hi. Right. As such, Alina's next gonna go to to hoot. The burb. The burb. Alina's gonna walk up to who and just go, Hi, I'm Alina. Hi, Hoot. I like your name. Pretty name. Nods. Thank you. <laughs> it's no problem. I, I've never really met a Kenku properly before, so it's nice to be traveling with one. Uh, Alina. Elena. 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 <laughs> uh, he repeats what he heard earlier that said, I hope death does not reach you. <laughs> Elena just kind of just is a little bit like uh, shy about this, but um, she just, she just, just, I hope death does not reach you too. Hoot. <laughs> <laughs> I like I'm hearing this and I'm like can I repeat what other people say you're not doing anything wrong <laughs> where'd you put the muscle on the mind uh, oh. once she feels happy with the introduction with uh, uh, Hoot she's gonna move on to Bowie so she's gonna just kind of walk up to Bowie and just go oh, I didn't probably get a chance to thank you for the knife, but thank you for the knife, and I, uh, I think you're really cool. I, I, I didn't show it, but I was really impressed when you threw that guy out of the window earlier. And there's no response. <laughs> and Bird <laughs> died. The end. Hey! <laughs> Bird, come back to us. Bird! Bird! Just buy a fucking camel while I'm at it. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
to buy a what? I could buy a cab if I wanted to. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> no more animals. That's why I never already. That's why I never already just bought the. Uh... Horsey. Yeah, I've already got a horse. I just think of a name for the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give this thing a name actually. Um. Hmm. Sure. I've named the horse. <laughs> What, do you, what did you name the horse? What is the horse? Gizmo. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh time, time for me to draw the horse in some boots now. <laughs> well, Burb is dead. I'll wait for Burb to get back and then I'll... Repeat. Yeah. And I do have, like, also, like... I did also buy the bit and bridle and the saddle for the horse, so it's, um... Oh, good. So, and I also bought the saddlebags, which also like allow you to store more in the horse. In the horse, in yeah, you, know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Caramel. Oh, uh, caramel. Sure. Here. I don't know if I need to buy it. A... <laughs> I'm sorry, I was AFK for a bit. Oh, okay. I'm buying um, an actual bag of sand so that if I run out of spell slots, I could still throw sand at people. Pocket sand. <laughs> uh, well, actual sand edition sand never ends <laughs> well uh burb what you missed is for the alina went up to um alina went up to Bu uh buoy and said thank you for the knife i didn't get a proper chance to thank you for that um i think you're really cool by the way i didn't really get a chance to properly say how cool it was earlier when you threw that guy out of the uh the window <sighs> I tried to keep my violent past in the past, but sometimes violence is the only way that people will be able to learn. Uh, Alina kind of just nods in agreement and just kind of just understands. Yeah, I understand how that feels. Still, but I think you're cool. You. I think you're really cool. Thank you. It It is also an honor to meet a hunting prodigy such as you. I, um, Can I do? thank you. Uh, I'm gonna just go introduce myself to the last guy. I'll be back soon. If, if you find him, just tell him that I fire. Just tell him that I'm giving him a dagger instead of, you know, a tiny knife because he needs to be more edgy than he already is. I already got a dagger. Uh, I'm edgy enough. <laughs> oh, I use it myself. While I could cast a lot of daggers with all this edge. <laughs> I muted myself <laughs> while we talked about it. But who is literally buying every poison in the fucking dead in the Gosh dang it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you can't like, buy white raven poison. He's buying a shit ton of poison. Oh god. <laughs> um as such, Alina just kind of laughs and just goes, I only have the one dagger. Maybe I might just buy an extra one, just in case if we... Just in case if I somehow lose this one. I kind of just hold out all my darts, like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I bought a lot of darts, kid you not. Oh, oh I... dart poison, poison darts? I see. <laughs> As such, Alina just Guys, kind of just... the good thing is, well, the good thing is, is that who is immune to poison? Hey! Oh, God. So all I'm doing right now is seeing how much poison potions I can buy. Good Lord. God dang it. Don't eat any food that Poot makes. <laughs> Why don't we need it? Oh. No! Damn no more animals. animals. I'm just saying it. No more animals, please. <laughs> I've already bought a horse. Anyway, um, we already have a horse. Yes. Well, oh, as oh, um, you have a horse, right? Yeah, I bought a horse. Uh, I bought a riding. Okay. I bought it was a draft horse, which is mainly just for carrying equipment. But it does also have a bit and bridle oh. and saddle if we do need to somehow ride it or someone needs to ride it. Okay, I also got a cart, so oh, that might be nice. Easy. So we also have your cart, and we have so we can put a lot of us shit in there. Um, yeah. And yeah, the yeah, I bought feed for the horse as well. 
Um, I've also bought bit and bridle, saddlebags, and the uh, the saddle it's as well. So we, we have everything for the horse. Um, anyway, Alina's just going to give a nod to Bowie and be like, I'll be back soon. And she's going to uh, go and find... You know, I'm, ass- I'm assuming this is going to come in handy, so I'm going to buy some cartographer's tools. Fair enough. Oh, I already got one. I mean, huh? you know, uh, more, pe- more people than one person have cartographer tools. It's not yeah. going to hurt. <laughs> anyway. Oh, does somebody already have them? Yeah, but more, Actually, but more. You know what? Party might get split. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And as such, Alina's going to finally go and uh, find Doris and walk up to him a little bit very shy and nervous and just go uh hi I'm Alina I didn't really get a chance to say hello properly earlier actually I never had a chance to say hello at all Doris O'Driscoll nice to meet you uh nice to meet you too I um I just want to say um I really hope things will Go well for all of Mom, us. Fluffy does not look amused. <laughs> Put the cat down. Just, you know, I, um... You know, I don't... I'm sorry that, you know, if you weren't expecting exactly someone like me in the party, but, uh... I promise that I'm useful. He stares for a bit... Boiler said something scathing, but Alina's a child. He's not that much of a monster. Hey. I'm sure you're not, kid. I'm sure you can hold your own out there. Just stay safe. Uh, and you, I, uh... And, yeah, and you. Anyway, I, I just, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you around, I, um... Yeah, bye. And she's gonna very no- nervously walk away, Aww. extremely scared and shy. Aww. Aww. Everyone already. I love this child. <laughs> <laughs> Brooke, is, Brooke is literally just like I have only known Alina for one day, but if anything were to happen to, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. <laughs> <laughs> As such, Alina's just gonna just kind of just uh kind of just nervous as uh, nervous walk away. She's gonna kind of just like be just kind of just like wandering, just kind of like obviously just kind of pacing, just just unsure about what to do. Just obviously trying, th- obviously thinking a lot in her head about stuff. Um. All right. So as you guys are buying things, Bowie and Brooke, you are forced to not go to certain um, sellers at some points because they are refusing to sell to anyone who is not human. Racist pieces of crap. <laughs> Forgot to add me. So, you know, like, I talked to Boo and was like, you know, I can ignore most things, but come on! What? We're not going to give them business. You know? What about Bowie? <laughs> you know, Bowie is also being We're ignored pe- by some people. It's like, it's like you know, I, I can, I, you know, I was like, I can ignore it for the most part, but like, refusing yeah. service, like, nah. Like, no. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm just saying. We're not buying an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> no, no <laughs> elephant. <laughs> no <laughs> elephants in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Oh, I just Why? saw what Lois is doing. Lois, no. Lois, Lois. What? <laughs> no. We can look, no. we can look at the stream, Lois. <laughs> no, stop. Lois, we can see what you're doing. We all can see <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> But was, is Bowie gonna respond to me being kind of just like a little annoyed by people being jerks? Lois, okay. <laughs> get off the elephant! <laughs> what? Lois is distracting the entire campaign by buying a fucking elephant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really not. Bad. This is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a tour right now, and you have an elephant. There's going to be consequences. 
<laughs> We're safe for now. <laughs> Constantly checks everybody's inventory. <laughs> uh, I can't hide your really secret. <laughs> I can hear the stream in the background. Who the f are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oof. No elephants. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Two elephants. You already have a horse. <laughs> no, no elephants at all. <laughs> no. None whatsoever. None. All right, so as you guys are buying things, a man that a man from one of the shops is going to yell out for Alina. Alina's going to look over at who He's has yelled at her. Going to come back to his stall. Alina's just going to take a sigh and just uh, walk over with a with a <sighs> smile on her face and just go, "What is it?" On a scale of one to murder, how shady is this man? <laughs> 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 he's not shady at all. all right. he's, going, he's going to say, Little Miss, I apologize. It seems I charged you too much for one of your rations to give you back 10 pieces of gold since he actually charged you 20 for one of them. Alina's going to look at the, the 10 gold and just go, No, keep it. it it's, it's no problem. I have more than enough for now. You can just you can keep the 10 gold, use it for something. Something important, something something nice. Spend it on yourself. Such as better service. He's going Oh He's going to thank you, but say, No, please, I insist. Please take the money back. I no, don't need it. No, please, I insist. Keep the ten gold. It's no problem. It's it's nothing. Okay. He's going to look at you and what put consequences nine are there for pieces this? of the gold into his pocket. But he's going to hand you one of them. Uh, Please take one. All right. I'll take the one. Okay. As he hands you this piece of gold, as soon as it touches your hand, you can oh. tell there is something different about it. Oh. Consequences. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> he says, thank you. This coin is not ordinary. Oh, Would you like... <laughs> <laughs> Would you like accompanies this coin? And he seems very happy that you took this coin. He is not in any way trying to um, scare you or deceive you. Alina just looks kind of shocked, uh, kind of more, well, not so much shocked, more just concerned and confused, and just kind of looks over and just goes, uh, sure. He's going to jump up and clap his hands a few times like an ch excited child. Ugly, disappear into his tent. And he's gone for a few moments, and you can hear him moving things around, and talking to somebody should we be concerned yeah. no not really i was about to say is on a scale of one to hard? dead how concerned should we be <laughs> no you should not be concerned i think alina will be fine so he's going to going to pop out his head and say are you ready he has a very big grin on his face alina kind of just like look gives a smile and just goes yeah, I'm ready. Oh my, okay. I want you to know that this is me talking. Um, I have a big, big grin on my face because I am excited to see your guys' reactions to this. Yay! Oh no. So, this oh boy. man... <laughs> the man walks out of the stall and you look at okay, his hands... Suspicious. His hands. Hmm. But there's something on his shoulder. Perched on his left shoulder is a very small, dark blue 
Pseudo Dragon. <gasps> I want it. <laughs> okay. The small dragon's main scale color is dark blue. It's similar to the royal blue that you've seen in the castle, but just a shade darker. And it has white spikes running down its body from its head all the way down to its tail. The underside of the wing of the wings are, is a light purple along with its belly and the bottom of its feet. It has four horns, two on each side of its head, white, just like the spikes on its back. And at the very tip of its tail, it's a dark blue stinger that matches the color of its body. I will go ahead and post a picture in spectators. Oh, boy. A second for it to load. Wow. Going towards spectators. <laughs> no, I, I'm uncontroversial. I went to kinky. No, spectators. <laughs> How the hell did you if spectators would load. Okay, the first thing I see is just a politician. <gasps> I love I love him. <laughs> I love him so much. Did you just assume they're gender? <laughs> okay. He says, so what do you think? Alina has this... Has this hand. Alina I'm has... My... Oh, go ahead. Okay. So the man smiles at you and pats the dragon's head a bit and as he does this oh my god there's a limit yeah there's a weight limit <laughs> as you do that as he does this alina can hear a small voice in her head <gasps> a male voice Ooh. Hey. It's, and he and the voice says hello my last companion called me kintry would you like to keep that name, or would you like to give me a new one? Alina just kind of just is like in this kind of just her, her eyes are widened with this that she's got this huge grin on her face with this childlike wonder, and she's just like, oh, this is actually she's like oh, this is actually happening. This is this is actually happening. She looks around to see if she, see who she can see in like the party who's around her. If anyone was like, she just kind of like, uh, uh. Um, I don't, um, yes, I would like to keep the name. Yes, I would very much like to keep it. It's such a beautiful name. You're so beautiful. Oh my god, you're adorable. I'm waiting for the consequences. <laughs> Time to buy some extra ration. Oh. The dragon is going to give like a a teethy grit of uh, smile at Alina, and it's going to spread its wings and glide. And after giving a nice few good knife flaps, it's going to hop off the sh shoulder. The blah, 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 blah. It's going to hop off of the shop owner's shoulders and going. To, it's going to f um glide over to Alina and land on her head before moving to her shoulder. Alina's just gonna have this child, like, again, just, it just still reminds me why she's got this big, you know, the first time she's really properly smiled fully. She's just gonna just start, like, gently just, like, just scratching, like, the dragon under the chin and just, like, and just very calmly. Apologies if you had rain in the background, it is absolutely been, it's been storming all day and the rain's just come down really heavy again, so if it picks up on the mic, my mic, I apologize. I apologize if you can hear me, like, opening a candy wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> so, the shopkeeper is going to say, This little dragon has been passing along the shops here for quite some time. It's well connected to the coin that you have. Hmm. Cool. So, if you... I hope that you are in a traveling mood. It likes to see different places and has been to quite a few. Well, um, uh, we're in luck because I am about to go on an adventure. Um, about to go travel. Oh my god, rain. Holy hell, that's so heavy. Um, it picks up... It's so loud. I don't, know if it's, I don't know if the rain picks up on the mic, but it is seriously heavy. Um... 
Hello. Sorry, everything just cut out for me. So that's I'm okay. That's all right. Oh, Rain, shut up. Stop anyway, it. um, how much Rain... gold Justin just spent? <laughs> oh God, I'm afraid to ask. Um, you tell. Two twenty-one. Oh Jesus. I still have. <laughs> I have 82 left. Do you go to my iPad because my. I may or may not have I bought 10 green lily potions. I bought, I, bought, I bought five healing potions as well, so we got that. Hey guys, can you hear me? Yes, like we can. Okay. Yeah, I switched over to my iPad because my computer is being a butt face. Here. Oh no. Okay. So the oh, sh the shop of you also have a ca uh, player who has a bag of holding. So if you want, you can ask Darius to carry some of it. And we have a horse. <laughs> I'm a horse drawn carriage. So, JT, if you want, you can go into your settings for your character and turn off your holding capacity. Yeah, I should probably. Can I, can I do that as well? Because I got the border horse. Oh, um, I'm keeping. Yes. I'm keeping all the stuff in my cart that's in my notes at the yeah. moment. Yeah, Alina put a bunch of the stuff in in her. Uh... So right. that way, I don't, I won't be encumbered, and I can clear up my list. Already then. Yeah, put no encumbrance on so Alina can actually carry the stuff because yeah. she has a horse. Billy would like to to make one more purchase. But uh no no you know the, no, you, know the no. you know the one tavern where I taught someone out? Yeah. I'ma visit that again. Oh boy. I'ma just take one last look through all the uh items, see if I need <laughs> to buy absolutely anything else just in case. But yeah, I'll I'll even... one of the thousand ball bearings. Uh, I bought I bought five thousand ball bearings. No. I bought five thousand as well. <laughs> so. Okay, I'm gonna switch back on my computer and see if it stopped being a jerk. Okay. Awesome. Oh. What? Yeah. So, with the dragon on Alina's shoulder, he has curled his tail around his body, and he has his head nuzzled right up against your cheek. And he's doing it in a way to be sure that his horns are not cutting you or hurting you in any way. He's being very careful. Oh, Such a baby. <laughs> Alina's just going to be very gentle with him as well. About, about as well as she can. And just very, uh, very kindly smile to the dragon and just say... Well, and we're going again. I'm going on an adventure very soon, so you're more than welcome to join us. I'm sure we could actually even maybe use a dragon at some point. His um head like picks up a bit. He, you can tell he's very excited, and he gives a very happy squeak. Squeak, but a very happy little dragon noise. Uh. Alina's just going to give a little bit of a giggle and just say, well, I hope the others will be okay because I'm definitely okay with having you here. Can I pet the dragon? Alina, are you around by Alina? <laughs> Cause Alina's like, Am I around Alina? Does anybody want a shit ton of potions? I got a bunch as well. Hey, I've... Watch, um, question, what potions do you have? What kind of potions do you have? Yeah. Uh, I have four acids. I have an assassin blood. Twenty-five, no, ten, ten dream lilies. Uh, one draw potion and one serpent's venom. You know, I'm. I, no, I think they're too strong for the acid. I'm, I'm resistant <laughs> against it, so if it spills on me, eh. don't spill on Alina. She will be very unhappy with that. Okay? So how much I said no thanks, you? they're too strong how, how? for me, Traveler. <laughs> <laughs> My potions are too strong for you, Traveler. He has four yeah, acid so potions. How much acid? Four. Okay, I'm, I'm taking all four. Okay. 
Okay. So you can take that out of your inventory. Manage hey Peach, how much would a Tangler grenade cost? If you want to, do you want to read out the description of it so you know what it is? Excuse uh, me. I got, is it? I got, sorry. If you want to, um, go ahead, Pete, Burb. I got 12 flasks of alchemy fire. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. And I'm still way over capacity. You have someone in your party who has a bag of holding. And a horse. I can't remember. I have a holding. Wrote, written down somewhere in your notes on D&D Beyond or on a piece of paper. Tangler Wait, can I can actually look at players' notes? Huh? Can the DM look at players' notes? Yes, the a DM on D and D Beyond can look at uh, anything on the character sheet, but um. Okay. Sorry. I guess I can. Holding. It's unlimited holding space. No, who? Darius. Uh, who walks over to Darius, carrying like gigantic bags of stuff? <laughs> Please, I'm about to drop. Take. Uh, very quickly, Darius will scoop up the giant bag of stuff and slip into his newfound bag of holding. <laughs> For you, but uh, I want to know what you had in there. Um, let's go through. I added an uh, assassin's blood ingested. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I also added. Let's see. Time to poison some unfortunate soul. That did not help. Okay. Um, I added ten uh, green lilies. Uh, one draw potion. Injury. Um, one draw potion and a serpent's venom. That literally did not take anything. Also gonna add a thousand ball bearings. No, oh my god. Wait, is that the uh, stuff that who gave Darius? Yes. 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 Oh. Look, I am way over capacity right now, so I'm just trying to get rid of stuff. Oh, wait, I can remove the leather because I updated my armor. Yeah. You can sell it and then get back what you what it was worth. Oh, how do I sell it? Just get removed from your inventory and then add, look up how much the leather is and add the smell and bulk your inventory. Leather. Also, Lois. Yeah. The coin that allows you to speak telepathically to the dragon. Um, it has a reach of 60 feet. So as long as you have the coin and Kintry is within 60 feet of you, you can communicate okay. perfectly. I have a backpack in that bag of... No, wait, I can sell the backpack. Also, um... If... It Question, would it be kind of as a pet or a, or a familiar or a companion? Companion. Companion, all right. Um, so Kentry, the pseudo dragon, does know common and draconic. So he can speak oh, out loud, I do believe. But he can also talk privately to Alina through telepathy through the coin. Yeah. Uh, Peach, I might uh, add a quick favor if you like, DM me the name of the dragon so I can actually, you know, um, type it out. <laughs> Thank you. Just so I can add it to my... So I can actually rename the, the pseudo-dragon on d d Beyond to Kintry. No, did I really get rid of both of those? There you go. Crowbars. 
<laughs> don't. <laughs> so I bought my relief pack, so that's adding to most of my weeds. Oh my god. You don't need two burglars packs. I didn't. It's just everything is. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, are we gonna get on now? Are we done buying stuff? Uh, let me just do one last check because I am the buyer of the party, as we all know. Um, also, I bought two. I only have 26 gold left. I have like, <laughs> I have 300, I think. Let me just, like, oh, like 250, I think. I still have most of my gold left because I like traveling light. Uh, I still have a lot of it left, but I, I mean, I bought a horse so I could actually carry more. I also just bought two random, um, two, uh, just random gemstones that worth 10 gold pieces each because Alina likes shiny gemstones. Shiny. <laughs> Plus she's a little kid, so of course she's gonna love a little, a good little, uh... I wouldn't call myself a little kid. I mean, she's just 14, so I am bored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But she'd be like, look, I want a pretty thing, and then be judged by half the party and, and loved by the other half of the party. <laughs> like, just like, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, and everyone's just like, Lena, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, Bo Bowie wouldn't care. I mean, she had, she does have her own trinkets that she keeps. She's not gonna judge. Such so as, like, 25 balls of yarn. <laughs> Um, you, no, you don't talk about my secret stash, okay? <laughs> you need to keep your mouth shut, otherwise you'll end up in the ground. <laughs> oh, edgy. Mm, five no. edgy, seven no, me. Burb. Yeah? Ted Bowie wants to go back to that tavern, correct? Yes. Alright, if you want, we can do that now while everyone else is busy buying stuff. Sure. Sure. Oh god, would I, be still be with, would I still or be with Bowie, or would Bowie the bit, like, not be with me right, right now? Going by herself, or is she taking someone with her? Does anyone else want to go? Uh, Alina will go with her, uh, just I'll in case. Well. Just in case if just... something happens, because have have at least one of the, um, the... We're, we're all gal, we're all gal pals. The, the, the girl squad. Girl squad. Yes. I mean, because Alina is also like the only because like Alina doesn't get uh, racism because she's a half elf, so she so she so she'll be the one to be able to probably do the most talking and be like, yeah, look, they're my friends. Don't be racist. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, right, there is going to be normal aside though. from the whole blue thing. <laughs> <laughs> Darius is just gonna Darius finish here. up shopping. When he's done, he's gonna go follow. All right, so I guess who will say shopping? Who's Who's trying to go here? Alright, who will not be accompanying? Who's busy getting all the poison possible? No, who's trying to make everything off his bag so it carries, so it can walk? <laughs> uh, okay. uh, uh, I just want to point out, like, as, like, you know, the, just the DM. Um, uh, who, you did buy chainmail, yeah. and you are only proficient in light armor, so you have heavy armor, despite the fact that you're only proficient in light armor. <laughs> I can't? Okay. Well, there goes most. Yeah, plus, as a rogue, probably buying something that gives you disadvantage to stealth is probably not a good idea. <laughs> okay, can I keep the breastplate? Uh, no, because no, you have medium armor, and you uh, so you, the most you're going to buy is studded leather armor. That's the, the highest you'll be able to yeah. buy. Yeah. So I have to keep, I keep the leather armor then. No. Sell this leather, get studded leather. Studded. It's not better. Studded leather is a little bit better oh. than uh, than normal leather. You're a rogue. You I... signed up for this. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't point that out because no. I, I noticed that. I was like, oh god, that's um, that could cause problems in the future. Um, what kind of rogue are they? Like, what archetype did they choose? Revived. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, and it's that kind of stuff. Because I just saw that, I was like, oh, I should probably point that out because that is... Dis disadvantage to stealth is not good, and... Uh, Gamer. Yeah. Gamer. The, the, the last thing, and plus not proficient in those armors because mm -hmm. that's pain in the oh. ass. Bring these tools to your box water skin. Also, just... If you want me to get any more recommendations, let me know as a, you know, just as a player to player. Now I can walk now. Alright. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go with Bowie, Brooke, and Alina as and we go towards 
Tavern. And Doris, I think and Doris. Doris. I think, did, and yeah. Doris. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. It will give you, uh, what's it called? Player control? Uh, narrative control, yeah. I'll give you narrative control for now, but verb. Alrighty. Wait, how does this work again? <laughs> um, if you want, I can explain. Go ahead. A narrative control sure. is pretty much the fact that it's like when you just give the player a chance to narrate the scene, in a sense, like what they do and like kind of narrate how they do things. Kind of like okay. it's, it's like it's like being a mini DM without having to say roll initiative or roll for perception, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You just kind of explain well, how things go. Well, here's the thing: I am extremely bad at that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so That's who's, why you're not who's gonna go? Go back up to the same, very same bar or tavern. Is the window still broken? Yes, uh, but as you walk up, you see that there are some people attempting to fix it. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this. I cast mending. <laughs> um. Ah. All right. As you do, they the workers that are trying to fix it seem annoyed that they didn't have to fix it in the first place, but they are they look grateful at the same time that you did fix it. How many workers are there? There um did did she oh. cut out? Yeah, it was kind of like a butt. <laughs> two workers? <laughs> Just a butt. <laughs> That's two. She's cutting out a lot for me. I don't know what's it's going two. on. It's two. It's two workers. Two workers? Okay. I hand both of them two gold. So removing four from my inventory. And I'm just going to no, say... Was... What? Go ahead. I'm just going to give them both two gold and just say, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I completely forgot about it. They, they're going to look grateful, and one of them is going to smile and nod at you and say, Thank you, miss. It is quite all right to move away. How are you? We'll be back inside the tavern to continue working. Okay. The very first thing I'm going to do, go, go into the tavern, walk, walk up to the bar, and then just ask for, like, how much... How much can 20 gold give me for alcohol on the travel? <laughs> oh like, boy. Like, just how much can 20 gold give me? Yay, alcohol! Uh, uh, Alina here in alcohol just goes, I can't drink that. You don't need to. <laughs> Not for you, kid. Um... So the barkeeper that is behind the bar is a dwarf man, and he's going to he's going to give a slight chuckle and say, "I can give you a quarter of a barrel." A quarter of a barrel. A barrel of what? Depends on what kind of drink you want, miss. Well, here's the thing. How big is a barrel? Give me a second. It's a barrel. That's how big it is. Barrel size. <laughs> barrel but here's size. the thing. Barrel, <laughs> barrel costs like what? A builder? So. Basically, like your I'm average size sure cat. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna make sure that I'm not, you know, being ripped off again. When you forget your own Twitch commands, it's fine. Wait, people are actually viewing? Yeah, we got there's like seven people watching. Damn. Yeah. Shit. Wait, did did we ever do the uwu at the start? No. No, we didn't. <gasps> oh right, we need to do the uwu. Please hold no. on. No, yes. guys, we need to do the uwu. Please, no. <laughs> in Spectatorsburg. Spectators? Oh, hold, 
Hold on, my my thing's being stupid. Okay, so Real quick. I can walk still. Chat. Oh, okay. All right. Um, he's actually going to look at you for a moment and say, "Well." Since you fixed my window, I guess I'll raise it from a quarter of a barrel to a full barrel. Alright, that sounds fine. And you said any drink I want, right? Oh no. I said depending. It depends on what kind of drink you want. Okay, depends. How about some mead? Mead? Yep. He strokes his beard for a moment before nodding and says, I I could do a full barrel of mead for 20. All right. Got yourself a deal. I assume you give him the gold on the counter. Yes. He'll, he's going to take the gold from you and call out for one of his workers. And you recognize... The person comes up to the counter as a little as one of the dwarves who was outside working on the window. Yep. And he um he tells the young man to go back and get a full barrel of mead for you. A moment and later. Guy, yep. Sorry. But guess what, guys? What? I only have two gold left. <laughs> A moment later, the dwarf comes back carrying the barrel of mead. Next to you. Alrighty. Mm-hmm. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, and I'm sorry for the window. I it's alright. It won't it was not the first time and it won't be the last. I, I guess I'm, I'm. Okay, so do I have to roll a strength check because I'm only five foot two carrying this barrel of mead? Yeah, sure do. Um, I want to help with that. All right, roll with advantage. Okay. What What's my strength at? I I keep forgetting. Hey, do it, do it. Okay, the plus one. Strength plus one. Brooke, yours is also plus one. What? what do you want Nothing. To do? Okay, a fourteen. Fourteen. You struggle with it a bit, the two of you, but you are able to carry it. Yes. Well, I now I'm have sure. something. I'm not letting Elena touch it because she's young and I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, Elena is going to look to the uh, to the barkeeper and just kind of just nervously right. just go. Uh, weird question, but do you at all sell like tea, like tea leaves at all? I don't, young lass, but I'm sure there's someone here in the. I'm sure there's someone in the street that does. Okay, because I'm going to be traveling for a while, and, well, I can't drink uh, alcohol, so I was looking for some tea leaves to buy so I could drink something that isn't water. I, like, yell back at her, because I'm assuming we're, like, halfway through the <laughs> like, we're going towards her at this point. <laughs> um, the tea is just leaf water! I, it's, it's less boring than water! <laughs> It's still leaf water! I I mean, you're right, but that doesn't mean I have to agree with you. Hey, 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 it's good-ass leaf water, okay? <laughs> I'm not disagreeing with that, okay? I'm just saying it's leaf water. I'm gonna just kind of just, like, like just gives, like, a nod to the, um, to the, to the, to the, to the tavern owner, and, oh my god, this fucking rain will never shut up. And she's just gonna go and um, kind of like go to the others and just go. I'm gonna go look around for something or someone that sells tea leaves or something like that because tavern. You hear the bartender yell out. 
Look for Eleanor down the road. She may have some in her inventory. All right. Uh, she gives like a she gives like a smile and a nod about this and um. <sighs> Oh my god, this frame will never shut up. And she's going to look for Eleanor. Do you need an escort, Alana? Oh, I'll be We're sick. carrying a barrel <laughs> of alcohol. I know. I think we can help. <laughs> I, mean, for the carriage. I mean, Darius is with us, so I think... I do have fine. a car. Yeah, I was saying, we no, have a cart with a, a horse. We have a cart with a horse. Put it on yeah. the cart. Put it on the cart. I did. Oh, I'm going to. Let's at least get this thing to the card first, okay? Well, you know, just like like I'll be fine on my own. I you I don't need to protecting. I I can protect myself. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. I mean, I'm sure that you guys secretly do doubt it. I mean, I am a kid. I know that there's nah, probably nah, some doubt. I don't doubt it. I just don't like seeing kids on their own. It's don't just... worry. I've killed with my bare hands when I was nine. Alina just kind of okay. just. Alina just kind of goes a bit pale. And okay, maybe we should. Alina just goes really pale at this, and just kind of just um, looks to like the the group with her, and she just goes, um, that's nice. Uh, I, I'm gonna just go now. Okay, bye. Um, yeah, I'll see you soon. <laughs> You're welcome okay. for the nightmares. <laughs> I step on. Uh, I step on her foot. What was that for? You're welcome for the nightmares. I'm not sure if you guys heard it or not, but as you guys are talking, who has caught up with you at this point? So he has heard okay. this conversation. Yes. Oh, God. oh hey there, little guy. Um, don't mind us. Little. <laughs> Hoot's small, I think. Hoot's taller than Alina. <laughs> <laughs> If Hoot's taller than Lena, then they're taller than me. Hoot is five foot two. <laughs> okay, so it's the same height as me. Yeah. Oh. I'm just gonna look them dead in the face and go, good ass leaf water. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, good ass leaf water. <laughs> the best leaf ass water. Are we just gonna stick in town now, or you'll see. Well, yeah, let right, guys go so... look for leaf water. <laughs> so Alina is looking for Eleanor, who who may have tea leaves. Yes. Do we need to roll oh, anything wait. for that? Mm, no, she's talking to me. Uh, I... After a few moments of walking, you finally find a woman. She's wearing clothes similar to the man that you saw talking with Darius in the beginning. Hmm. And she has a stand behind her, and you recognize on the stand. Uh, Peach, if you say anything, they recognize the stand. You cut out. For fuck's sake. Ah, yeah. This called fix your shit. I said, um, behind Eleanor, this woman that you you think is Eleanor, you can see on her stand that she has different um, open boxes, and you can tell that they contain tea leaves. Lena's just going to just smile and see the fact that she's found tea leaves, just knowing the fact that she'll be able to drink something that isn't alcohol around, as as being the underage that she is. Um, Don't worry, we won't let you drink alcohol anyway. Yeah, and, and she wants to drink something. And, I mean, unless if, like, something happens that she wants to actually just chug down and just forget, but anyway, very unlikely. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I mean, I've been drinking since I've been five in real life, so whatever, but anyway, um... Yo, no, what the frick? Uh, it, it's legal in the UK. We can drink when, uh, once in five in private premises. But anyway, um, oh. Alina is going to walk up to Eleanor, and she's just going to go, oh, "Hi, are you Eleanor? I was told that you sell tea leaves." 
She's going to smile sweetly at you and say, That I am. What kind of tea leaves are you looking for, young man, young lady? Uh, what do you have? I don't mind. Um, she shows, she moves out of the way so that you can see some of the, um, some of the leaves. And she, each time she says a name, she gestures to a box and says, we have green tea, black tea, purple tea, white tea, fermented tea, yellow tea, that I can't pronounce, Lois. <laughs> I think it's oolong. Uh, Alina's just gonna look at all the different teas and just in this excitement, just go. I'm going on a journey. I've been told that I'm going on a journey, so I would like to buy a lot of tea. So it's okay if I could buy like a decent box filled with a bit of everything. And in a bit, I mean kind of well a lot because I don't know how long I'm gonna be on this journey for. And I'm being I'm, and I'm traveling with adults and well they drink alcohol and I can't because I'm the only one who isn't a, an adult. It's just gonna look at her and be like, uh, you, you forget about me? <laughs> but like, at the same Alicia's time. Gonna, Alicia's gonna like, give like, who a look as if to go, no offense, I'm sorry if I offended you, but different between <laughs> Kenku aging and half elf aging, so. <laughs> Alina, Alina's tiny for a half elf. Being the age of fourteen as a half elf is extreme because half elves live to like hundred and eighty. So her being fourteen is like she is child, child. <laughs> She's a baby. She is baby. She is baby. So yeah, Alina's just gonna say, "I want. I need to buy a." Pretty much, she's not gonna say it, but pretty much the fact that she's implying the fact that she wants to buy a shit ton of tea, but she's not gonna say shit. Ton. She's gonna say, "I need to buy a heck ton of tea." <laughs> That's actually adorable. Oh my gosh. Alita doesn't swear, so I'd make it so that she doesn't swear unless if it's like, she will only swear if it's like so bad the fact that when Alina swears it's gonna be like, wait, Alita, you actually swore? What the hell? <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Just doing the math for how much a heck ton of tea is. <laughs> <laughs> I should add as a custom item a heck ton of tea. <laughs> a smile and and she's going to go behind the boxes of teas around for a bit before she finally pulls out a box and puts it on the count on the counter so that you can see and sh um this box is about a foot tall and a foot wide oh my god that's that's awesome <laughs> Also, also, I guess no one's pointed out that the, the fact that Alina has a dragon with her now. She has a dragon just chilling with her and no one's pointed that out just yet. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I really just gave it to you. Yeah. <laughs> Alina just has this dragon, but anyway. Alina's just gonna look at this box and just go... So, oh, go ahead. She's going to open up the box and inside you can see there's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, the box is divided into seven parts for each type of tea. And you can tell that there's at least three months worth of tea worth for every one. Like, there's three months Ooh. worth of green tea. <laughs> there's a decent amount of tea in this box. <laughs> Alina's just gonna just give this kind of giddy. She's gonna like almost like like she's gonna like put like her hands just kind of like under her chin and just kind of rest them on top of her chin just with this giddy excitement. Almost she's almost like bouncing up and down very subtly, seeing all this tea, just really excited. She's just gonna go, how much? She's gonna fold one of her arms so that they kind of go over her chest for a minute and tie tuck her left arm under her armpit and put rest her right arm on top of that one and. Put her right hand on her cheek and tilt her head and look at you for a moment with a smile on her face. And after a moment of thinking, she's going to go and say, How about give you a discount since you're so young and you're traveling with adults? What? Give me one, one fifty and it's all yours. One fifty. One fifty. Alina's just going to just uh, uh, look. 
around to see who's around her. Look look back and just realize that she probably has a crippling tea addiction at this point, or looks like a crippling tea <laughs> addict. <laughs> and she's just gonna just, just very subtly pull out her pouch and just slowly just kind of look, just make sure the fact that she's like looking to see if there's any judgmental looks as she slowly hands over the 150 and just goes, here you go, and he, and gives an extra five on top of that, so 155, just, just, wait, just as a way of saying thanks for the uh for the tea. Can I can yeah, I add man. to that order? What did you say, Burb? Add to that order. Can I add yeah. more tea to that order? <laughs> I mean, Alina just got her box of tea. She's so she's she's gonna pick up the box and just kind of just look at it with just this childlike glee with her dragon. Two gold, two golds worth of tea. <laughs> Give me a second. Also, can I boop the snoot? Of the dragon? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, it's one of those boxes. Oh, I've seen those boxes, yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, Crucia Peach, do I have control of the dragon's actions now, or do you have control of the dragon's actions now? I'll let you, because it's your companion. Okay. Yours. All right. Um... The dragon's gonna look a little bit nervous, but uh, she. Uh, wait, what's the gender of the dragon? I don't. Oh, yes, he, isn't it? Yeah. I remember. I remember, I remember as soon as I asked. Um, he's good, but as such, he does let uh, them boop the snoot. I boop the snoot. Yay. All right. Burb, she's going to put the box that you see in Spectre's chat on top of the, uh, the counter. Although it's not ornate like that, it's also wooden, like the one above, except I just couldn't find a picture like that one. Yeah. It's small. I can fit a month's worth of tea in this one. For three. Three gold? Oof. Uh, I only have two. Can Alina, I borrow one gold? Two? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. You meant two. I, didn't, I thought you meant three. Oh, two gold? Okay. Like oh, Camilla T. Camilla T, alright. She's going to smile and say, you're in luck. You have the last bit of our Camilla T. Huh. I'm guessing they grow a lot of wheat here. What did you say? Like wheat. I'm guessing they grow a lot of wheat and barley, because that's what Camilla T is. Yes, yes they do. She's going to put the um, the tea into the box and then give it to you. Both you and Alina. She's going to give Alina her wooden box and you your little box. Okay. Leaf water. Leaf water. Alina's just going like, to look with a <laughs> box of... Just, I'm going to actually at least add that to inventory. I'll add that in uh, equipment in a second. Mm -hmm. I'll just add it. Call it box of leaf water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm calling it a box of giant, giant box of leaf water actually because each there's, there's seven compartments so, and there's three months per <laughs> compartment so three three six nine twelve fifteen a eighteen lot of leaf water. 21 months worth of leaf water damn so she after you after she hands you the boxes of tea she's going to smile at you and say i see you've been to richard i see he's finally got rid of his little pseudo uh, that's his name. Uh, yeah, he gave it to me because he did. She's going to smile at you and say, for quite some time, someone bought him from me after purchasing some tea. And I guess somehow I found a way over to his. Huh. Interesting. Well... I'm keeping this little guy, and we're going on. I'm going seeing, but like I said, I'm going off on an adventure. Uh, don't know where. Well, I do know where, but I'm not sure how dangerous it's going to be. So, and a dragon might be a little bit useful. She's There's going to nod her head in understanding. Who's going to look at the dragon, realizing this is his first time seeing the dragon? And he's just gonna make like little like flying motions with his hands. Oh. 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 
as you do that, Kenry is going to spread his little wings and flop them in your direction. Sure. <laughs> a screaming sound that is just pure enjoyment. Oh. Yes. <laughs> just yes. And then Dragon dies next part. <laughs> yeah, no. No. No, Alina will cry if this dragon dies. Yeah, and you don't want to make Alina cry, do you? Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. You absolute monster. <laughs> I love how much everyone's just got attached to Alina so fast. Well, except for Edgeld over there, but hey. <laughs> yeah, Edgeld been quiet. I wonder what he's planning. Edgeld things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this whole time I've been in the corner of the bar, brooding on all the people at bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, JT's just being the edgy brooding. God damn it! God, Silver and Darius meet. They're, 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 they're both side opposite corners of of the bar. They're doing nothing more than brooding. <laughs> There's no interaction. They're just brooding. <laughs> just all the edge. Um, the are walking away. Um, you can hear some people. There's actually some people walking towards you and then past you. Like, it's a pretty good group of people. And they all seem quite interested and excited about something. Huh. Well, they climb on a roof oh just God. to see what he could see in that direction that they were heading. Alina's going to be curious and she's going to follow. Do the rest of you? Protect the beam. So we follow. Uh, sure, might as well. Yeah. Serious following. Oh. G. He did. <laughs> he died. Oof. That way, tender looks. Please tell me stupid and dim by a few. Going to assume Darius follows with you guys. So. As you follow the group of people, um, you end up coming to a section of the town that's kind of cleared out. Like, there's not any homes in this little section. It's It looks like a part of the town where festivals or fairs will be held. And there's actually a fair being held at that moment. It's not big. It's quite small. But there's some games around. Alina's just going to widen her eyes and kind of just, like, and just like have this child like bounce to a seeing affair. She's gonna go, oh, a fair. Oh, it's been so long since I've been to anything like this. The last time I went with my parents, and that was when that was before. Uh, that was before other times. I I don't I don't question any of this because I'm like, I'm I'm assuming some bad things and like can relate. Alina, may I ask, what's a fair? She's gonna like gesture towards the uh what's going on go this it's just a bunch of people gather together there's some games there's some fun things people have a laugh there's sometimes food i it's just fun i haven't been to one for a while and uh i know i'm going to be going on a big adventure and all but i'm going to maybe go and check it out because i kind of you know really want to check it out i know this probably sounds stupid no, 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 that well, sounds stupid. Would you guys mind guiding me? I am new to these lands and to these traditions of yours. Alina just kind of like bounces and just like over to uh, Bowie and just goes, Of course, come on, follow me, come on. I, I, I probably know what these things are and I've probably seen these before. I, I know exactly what they will be. Let's, let's go, come on! Oh, this is yeah. precious. Oh my god. You, you know, if you hope, I'll, I'll teach you a little trick that, you know, most people use against me. Uh, just hold out a piece of yarn and I'll follow. <laughs> I won't use that against you unless if... No, I'm not going to be that mean and use that against you. That's not fair. That's like if someone, I don't know, did put put me in a fair. And I would, I, you know, I... Like, well, there's a fair I... right now, so I guess it's a bad analogy. I'm sorry. I'm just saying, if I'm ever drunk... If I'm ever impaired, if I'm ever not myself, use the yarn. <laughs> I will keep that in mind. 
All right, I will be right back. I will give you time to just talk for a second. All right. Okay. I got a Leonor is so precious, and nobody can tell me oh, otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> I love Leonor. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope I'm playing her well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but what do you guys think of Bowie? I you love guys, Bowie. But like, I keep accidentally dropping um, Brooke's voice, and I'm like, no. It's fine. I don't. I haven't given no, Alina a voice. I know you guys don't care, but I care because I decided to make a commitment to a voice, and I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a mood. Like, I'm trying to give like, I mean, Alina just shyness. I'm trying to give Bowie a voice, but my, I can't do two voices that way. Oof. And everyone's dead now. Yeah. Sorry. Mm, yes. Oh God, Alina's such a high armor class already. She's already she already has an 18 armor class. Fucking hell. I know I saw Wait, that. Really? I was like, what the frick? 18 armor class. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jesus, oh. what armor do you have? So, 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 studded leather armor, but I have a really high deck. Well, so, so it's a 17. Uh, refresh and it'll be at 18. Because I bought studded leather armor because I had leather armor and then refresh and it should bring up to 18. Oh, oh that's cool. Let me check something. If I, if I use studded leather instead. Come on, Honestly, Tyler. Mine would, be se- mine would be 17, but I need to attune for the glow. Hmm. Yeah, she also has a shield, got... which is why she has her armor class is even higher because of a shield as well. Shield gang! Yeah! yeah. Like, she doesn't, like, use a shield in combat, but she more, like, wears it just, like, as protection, just in case. So it's, like, it's more, like, on her back. She can actually borrow me as in, has it on her back. She'll use and she'll only use it if she has to. It's just just as like a last line of defense because she knows the fact that her bow is limited on arrows. She knows the fact that she's very limited on a lot of her resources. So it's like I had to have the shield is more just for like, oh god, I'm being attacked. I need to protect myself or something. Yeah. Um, I bought a lot of weird shit. I bought like things like a rain catcher as well. Just about that, like if because uh, I don't know what we're gonna be up against. So I bought a rain catcher. I bought. Pittons, I've bought I've even bought her a quarter staff, so she has she also has a quarter staff now just so she can like have a almost like almost like a walking stick. I bought her a playing card set in case everyone if we're bored on the journey and do want to play some cards. Nice. Uh bought her she already no, she already has a herbalism kit. Um she already gets holy water from her background. I bought so a you know, like, little So you know that like little drawing I did of a of Brooke, yes. I just, I added the little I added the cloak of protect to that. <laughs> yes. Um. What else did she buy? I bought well feed. I bought the horse and stuff. I even bought like a little candle. So like, cause the thing with Lena, fact, you know, the fact that like one of the things the fact that she has like the journal with her that she writes. Well, if she's like doing like if she's on watch for like a long rest or something, she she'll like the, the candle. She can just sit and write, but still like be in the darkness pretty much. I even just bought like her a random book, which I would discuss with Peach, just the fact that she has like a book to read. She. Like, Hold on, I'm putting it in spectator chat. Like, Please if you can stream also on that we'll back. properly. I love that so much. I know. All right. So, as you guys look around, there's quite a few different stalls where there's games being held. But the what appears to be the most laid out one. Um, there seems to be an archery station where people are competing to see who can hit bullseye the most, or just hit the target most. It appears that it appears that there aren't too many good archers there. Uh, Alina's just bouncing already. She's just like Alina's in the archery. She can look. She loves to like the group and just like to the group and she's just gonna go. So guys, do you want to see how good I am at, at archery? Sure, give it a yeah. shot. There I will. also appears. To be a um a station where there's a rope tied large boxes that are obviously heavy. So you have to was that thunder? <laughs> I don't know. No, that or was somebody that dropping was some just Tupperware. Going on. Hold on. Sound like someone dropping Tupperware. <laughs> it's but fine. Under the rope, there is a large pit of mud kind of walk across this rope and they're falling and getting hopefully soaked in mud hmm. so something about balancing on rope i hear yes there also seems to be a station 
where people are trying to herd sheep into pens to gain points. Excuse me. Mm. Sheep herding seems to be one of the most fun, where they're trying to imitate dogs to become, to get the, sh the most amount of sheep into their, their pens. Where's the canker? Alina, heavy breathing. <laughs> Where's the canker? Don't spoil it for people watching. No, it won't. There, um, there's also a place where there are men throwing balls at very large, um, they're not, no, not too large, some decently sized bottles full of water, and they're trying to knock over all the, um, bottles with the ball. The ball I'm so sorry if my back, like, you can hear something weird in my background, that's my parents moving away yeah. furniture and stuff over. Okay. <laughs> it sounded it sounded like someone had a vibrator, so I won't comment on that. <laughs> oh, to me, no, I oh. Okay, no, it sounds like running water to me, but that's without the mic distortion, but Yeah, without mic like, distortion, but with mic distortion. Yeah, it sounds worse than it is. Someone <laughs> running with a vibrator. <laughs> no <laughs> I'm sorry. The last one there there's a station there's a very large corral and in this corral you can see you all watch as a man gets onto a horse and the horse begins to buck and the horse is in the middle of the corral and the man is trying to hold on for dear life and he lasts at le barely two seconds before the horse bucks him off and he flies through the air and lands in some hay and very quickly escapes the corral before the horse charges at him. Nice. <laughs> Those two good stations. What would you guys like to do? <laughs> archery. Just straight up. Alina's just, Alina's just gonna go to the group, and she's, again, she's gonna gesture to the archery and just go, okay, be honest with me, guys. How many of you actually think I can actually, I'm actually a decent archer? Be well, let's let's see. The king I notified us. Them. The king notified us that you are an archer. So yes, but how good yeah. do you think I really am? Do you think I'm like be honest? I'm not gonna be willing to bet on you. Oh. Let's see. Try and make try and make three bullseyes in a row. Split the arrow each time. I don't think I'll be able to do that. I mean, I'm not that good, but if I can at least try and hit the uh, the thing a few times. If you doubt yourself like that, then you won't be able to do it. Believe in yourself once in a while. So, is Elena going to try archery? Yep, she's going to go up to the archery, and she's uh, going well, to... Well, while you do that, I'm going to go, like, points over to, like, the sheep herding thing. It's, like, that over there. Yes, but... Use my headphones. No, it's cool. Okay, well, I go over to, like, the sheep herding thing. Oh. We, yeah, gonna... Bowie just basically says believe in yourself <laughs> and uh, roll in that 20, please. If I roll in that 20, I'll be hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, so how many times are I rolling to, am I rolling to hit the uh, the target? Yeah. How many times am I allowed to roll? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say five times. Alright, I'll roll... So as you walk up to the archery station, the man that is manning the station, he's going to smile at you and say, "You want to try your hair, little lady?" She she Alita gives like a very confident nod, just goes, "I do." He's going to smile and have like a slightly condescending boy vo um voice to him as he says, "He's going to hand you five arrows and say." Try and hit Alright. Try and hit one of the points over there. I rolled so shit. Okay, I rolled an eighteen was my first one. Nice. And then I rolled a twelve. And then I rolled oh. a twenty one. And then I rolled a sixteen and then I rolled a nat one. Alright, give me just a second. He almost shoots the guy off the nat one. <laughs> <laughs> eighteen 
Right, you rolled 18, a 21. Uh, 18, 21, 16. Um, uh, f- uh, hang on. Uh, 12 and a nat 1, which would be a 9. Still nat 1. Oh. So, Alina steps up to the point where her, he's having the other archer stand. And you hook one of the arrows into your bow. And you let it loose. This arrow goes straight into the bullseye and slightly through the back of the target. Dead bullseye. He seems impressed, and those that are looking on cheer for you. You knock another arrow, and just like before, you hit the bullseye. It doesn't split. This one does split. It goes straight in between the first arrow. It doesn't go through the. It doesn't go all the way through, but it does sink into the bullseye. The second, the third arrow goes into the bullseye, but slightly to the left. But it is still, it is still in the bullseye. It does not go all the way through, but it is a bullseye. The next two that you, the next, the fourth one that you do, it hits the target, not in the bullseye, but in the section next to it. And with the next, with the last one, I'm sorry, but you went slightly over and you, it flies completely over the target. <laughs> you did way better than other archers that are there. Impressive. Nice. I think they just kind of just like looks at like looks to everyone in the party who is probably watching and just goes, I overshot that last one a little bit. I think I like I said, I'm still not that. Good. I, I'm sorry. Do you want to know you why know, you I'm missed? I'm kind of disappointed that it actually didn't bet on me. Could have missed <laughs> good money off of that. <laughs> Louis just gonna go to go to Alina and be like, "Do you, do you want to know why you missed?" Oh my God. You didn't believe in yourself. That's why. Only just kind of like. You know, she kind of like also the person doesn't point out her catrochromia yet, but anyway, she's gonna like kind of like just like kind of like look. Her eyes gonna like fall to the floor, and she's just gonna put a maybe. I, I uh, I don't know. Well, what's you know what, myself. kid? I believe in you. Thanks, but you really shouldn't. It's not a good thing to believe in me. Okay, look. Do you want? Ah, uh, how should I explain this? If you don't believe. If you don't believe in yourself, then uh, you're not really gonna go get anywhere. <laughs> and do I slap that information into your head? Alina just kind of like looks to the to the targets, and she is gonna pull out one of her own arrows and fire one last arrow at the target to see if she can try and actually hit well. Please don't be a net one. Please. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking cry. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, Alina's gonna pull out one of her actual arrows out of her quiver, and she's gonna shoot one last arrow at the target. All right. Because then that one, I'm gonna fucking one. cry. I'm gonna cry. As Twenty-two. Well. Matt, oh, yes, yes. You <laughs> sink that arrow straight through the others, and it goes mostly through the back of it. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>, see, <sighs> if I was not twenty, I would have actually fucking cheered so loud. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that would yeah. have been beautiful. Oh my it would have been that twenty, but uh, it wasn't. But um, at least just gonna give like a little bit of a weak smile, look into the group, and just go, uh, thank you, Bowie and uh, Brooke. <laughs> There's no need to thank us. Now, time for the rest of us to show off. <laughs> yeah, no. If anybody wants to see me be the master of animals, I'll be over at the sheep herding. Alina uh, puts a puts a bow behind her back and just look look looks to the to the arrows, gives a little bit of a smile, seeing how well she actually did with most of them, and then bounces on, following Brooke, just going, "I believe in you, Brooke. I know you can do this." Thank you. It follows Brooke. And he just has a smug look on his face. I wonder if I should just be sneaky and cast aid. 
It sounded like you said, I forgot you had the freaking Beyblade. <laughs> it crashed on me. Like, it just crashed right after I was like, not the Beyblade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just taking a picture of my cursed baby. <laughs> Actually, while they're on their way over there, Alina's just going to give a quick look to Darius and just go, what did you think of my archery? If you at all thought of anything of it, I did better than most people your age. Good job. I'm gonna get like a little bit of a proud smile and just go, Thank you. That actually means a lot to me. <laughs> Before quickly just kind of just nervously shuffling away. Still obviously very nervous around meeting new people and nervously shuffle towards, um, Hey, 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 I, I put the, the baby teeth inspector. Oh god, why would you put that? Now, 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 that's on, now that's on stream. Why would you put that? <laughs> now everyone on stream is going to see baby teeth. Wait, where? Where? <laughs> spectators <laughs> chest. I'm, I'm waiting for spectators chat to load. <laughs> why? Why would you post the baby teeth? God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, stream, for anyone who just saw baby teeth. <laughs> Why, JT? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. My bitrate right. is still alive. All right. So you guys continue on, and I'm assuming that Brooke wants to go to the sheep herding? Yeah, doing the sheep herding. All right, then. So, my teeth are so tiny, it's actually, like, disturbingly cute. <laughs> it's, like, disturbingly cute. Okay. So you go up to a corral and there are 20 sheep in this pen. And there are also two other people inside of the pen. They seem they seem like they had just gone in the pen, so they they haven't started just yet. So there is time for you to enter. I I enter. Enjoy. Sure. <laughs> There are now four of you in this pen, which means that Brooke and Hoot will be going against each other and hurting the sheep. It's on, bird. That you, a rogue, with a plus one, is going up against a druid with a plus six. Exactly, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Should I cast Bless? <laughs> Wait, what? Should I cast bless? Should I cast no, no, bless on the bird? <laughs> uh, it it just gives him like a plus D four to a saving throw or uh and... a tackle. If they get tackled, it's their own fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So the man that is um game he's a podium box <laughs> he's gonna stand up on his little box thing a and out in a moment i will let the sheep loose and when the last sheep is inside someone's pen they will be, the sheep will be tallied up and whoever has the most sheep will win Actually, I changed my mind. There's not four people in there. It's just you and Hoot. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, now it's really on. <laughs> Competitiveness. <laughs> mm. All right, Wait. then. So, are they allowed? Whatever. Are they allowed to touch the sheep? That's the real They're question. allowed to do to do anything as long as it's not lethal to the sheep or themselves or others. 
Oh no! Oh no! What? Sleight of hand. Oh no. What? <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm looking at my baby teeth. I'm sorry, I keep distracted by my baby teeth. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really dead. Like, I have like such things. Like, I think I, I thought I had things now, but like, no, I have like literal little things. And I'm like, vampire oh, things. They're so cute. Hi, well, welcome to Dungeons and Dragons and Baby Teeth, everyone. <laughs> Actually, no, there's not 20 sheep, there is 10. Okay. Stop changing your mind. You, I'm making it easier for myself. Fuck oh. you. Oh, wow. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, you, you have some interesting spells. I'm just going to say that for you, for you Brooke. Like, you're going up against someone who doesn't have spells at all. <laughs> Throws pocket sand in Hoot's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> pocket sand. <laughs> well, you all could be up till 2.30. Two oh, yeah, Genesis, why? <laughs> You're not using that to the situation. Uh, so should we run now? Yes, but keep in mind, he knows how to Give miss me. the animal's calls. Alright. The man... Blows a whistle. A man blows the whistle and opens the gate for the sheep to run out into the pen where you and Hoot are. And I want the two for initiative, just so I know, like, who goes in what turn. I, I can when the computer stops freezing. Just, just do one d twenty with no okay. matter with your. Initiative modifier. Freaking wait, what's the command for this? It's that. I didn't see that. You oh, probably should. Oh, okay. But without the dots, it's greater than R space one D twenty plus I modifier. It. Yeah, I, I'm used to different. I'm used to different. I'm gonna cry. Your modifier is plus four, by the way. Yeah, I know. I need to check. For an issue? I'm trying what? to get into like visual. You said initiative. Plus two. What did you get? No, do that again, but put a space between the R. I know, I know, I saw. Yeah. Hi, welcome to the online DD where we don't know how to freaking roll. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! Let's try it. Alright, so <laughs> it's Brooke and then who? Alright, so since Brooke goes first, you're free to do take any action you want. Okay. Oh, hmm, hmm. I'm gonna try and like gently like coax them like to move into my pen i guess so animal handling yes okay go roll high roll high roll high <laughs> watch me get that one yeah plus you have 16. <laughs> what are you doing i'm just oh for this? Yeah. And he starts mimicking all the sounds of sheep well, while walking towards his pen. Give me a second, let her go first. <laughs> Alright, so... With the 16, you're able to get about three of the sheep to come towards you, and they go into your pen without making a fuss. So, that's gonna end your turn, and then what is Hoot gonna do? He's gonna start mimicking all of the sheep while slowly walking over to his pen. <laughs> I was, what kind of roll would you think that would be? Uh, I would say four rolling, something like that. I would say, um... Mimicry? Decep deception. Dece roll yeah. me deception. 
How do I roll deception? All right, and your deception is plus five. Okay. Yeah, so... deception is probably your best one. Uh, for that. Already... Deceive, deceive the sheep. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You know, because I mean, you pretend to be a sheep, so but you know, so like, it's not animal handling. You're not like touching the animals to be like, hey, come over into this pen. Oh, nine. Yeah, you know, while you guys do that, I'm gonna get to you admiring my tiny little baby things. Have fun right. with that. Uh, I'm just gonna. <laughs> As you make the mimicking sounds of the sheep, only one sheep seems to hear you due to the commotion of the rest of the fair going on. So at this moment, you only have one sheep in your pen. Look, it's next. It's next to you. It's next up to you. I. I'm just. I'm gonna continue what I'm doing. So. All right. Do the uh, animal healing check again. Okay, if I can freaking. <laughs> Plus six. Yep. We had the same with animal handling. <laughs> we had the same. Plus nice. six. Next it. Oh! Class of 20. Okay. Yay! Nice. You wrote, you wrote. Wish it was a nat 20. Wish, gosh, uh, see, we, 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 call, um, we call like we call 20s like that, where you still get 20, but it's not a natural 20. We call them a flaccid 20. A what now, 20? A, a flaccid 20. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I call it dirty, but okay. I mean, no, we, I, I, uh, after, like, I think two sessions ago, we started calling it flaccid 20. At least in Rise, we started calling and I think Edge, we started calling it a flaccid 20. You're bored. <laughs> All right. I mean, I do. So, as you're talking to the sheep, trying to get them to come to your pen, four of them break off from the flock, and they come towards you and very happily go into your pen. There are now two sheep left. <laughs> one, Nat, one, Nat, one, Nat, one. <laughs> I believe in you. No, Matt, one, Matt, one, Matt, one. Hang on. I mean, stupid. Intense typing. <laughs> I like the fact that I just like, we just got like Alina's just crippling tea addiction yeah. in the You're corner. Unless I, I mean, you can still do the thing. <laughs> You can still like either cheat or use deception. I mean, it depends on what you define as cheat, but do what you think you should do. Um, I kind of want to call deception because that's a plus five, and it's the oh. charisma, which is a plus three. Just what? Just describe what you're trying. What you're trying to do? <laughs> Gather any like rocks or anything from the ground and moves it over to his pen saying that these are indefinitely sheep. <laughs> yes. Yes, the You're trying. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's more entertaining. You guys didn't hear. <laughs> Just or Hoot just picked up some rocks he found on the ground. He put them in the pen with his one sheep and and goes to looks toward the man that is like carrying on this game and sheep. Oh God! And what now? The man that is like that owns the game. He's telling them that the rocks he put in his pen are sheep. Okay. <laughs> you better roll high deception. You Please. better. You better somehow. You better somehow roll like a nat twenty and then some. Uh, honestly. So for deception, what do you do? Just roll straight deception, Lois. Uh, like is it wanted to trying to see that the rocks are sheep? Uh, just yeah, just roll a normal deception check. So that'll be you know one d twenty plus your deception modifier. Okay. So what do I roll as the DM? Like uh, for insight. The Inside, uh, one d twenty as well. He's not gonna have any modifiers. So, so unless you uh, fuck this up, unless <laughs> roll your thing before I roll okay, mine. Okay, so it's one d twenty. Twenty plus your dis um your deception, which is plus five. 
If you're on that 20, I'm actually gonna fucking wheeze. <laughs> no, wrong, wrong way around. Symbol. So no. close. Wrong way around. It, yeah. Greater than greater than symbol R, and then the rest. Map 20. Map 20. Map 20. <laughs> God. Nat one, nat one. <laughs> nah, come on. I want if there's a nat twenty, I'll actually get this. Will be fucking hilarious. Oh, it's look, it's like that. Oh. I roll. Okay, let me just do it's R one D twenty plus. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, for some reason the greater sign does that on Discord. Now that's annoying. Ah. <sighs> I would have changed it something else, but there was very few little little choices we had for. Uh... Oh, did you know that twenty? <laughs> they wrote a nat actually yeah, a nat twenty. It's actually a nat twenty. <laughs> I want to cry. Yes, yes, yes. Nat twenty. <laughs> 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 the cranky with the masters. I wanna cry. <laughs> Am I doing this well? Should I? I am so glad I get the The rocks are now sheep. But I'm rolling inside anyway. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna roll inside as well to see, to see if I'm convinced. That, I'm gonna roll inside as well to see if I'm. I keep getting the friggin' that. Am I convinced? Uh, I'm pretty sure those are rocks, but I'm not sure. But they might be sheep. I'm not sure. Bullies gonna try zone of two. <laughs> those are definitely sheep. Well, no. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> I rolled a nat 20. Oh my god, you also rolled a nat 20. Bowie's gonna oh. cast Detect Magic and Zone of Truth. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Who picks up the rocks and puts them into the pen with his one sheep? He turns towards the man and says, These sheep. And puts the man questions it for a moment and doesn't know, say, but then decides that. Yes, these are sheep. <laughs> <laughs> How many rocks were there? Give me like a small die. Um, Roll well, a D8. <laughs> Roll a D100. Roll well, well, a D8. Where the fuck did oh. it go? Hello? Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll a D8. Roll again. Just roll like this. Yeah. Er, sheep. So you now have five. five in yours compared to the six that Brooke has. <laughs> and there's still two left. There's still two actual sheep left. <laughs> Okay, at this point, oh gosh, uh, I swear to fucking god. <laughs> you know what? Okay, hold on. What challenge rating would be a dog be? Uh, I think I think they're half, I think they're one eighth of a challenge rating. I can go check though. Hang on, give me a second. Okay. What is it? A dog. A, a challenge rating of a dog. <laughs> I think we all know what I'm about to do here. Um, Are you gonna? Okay, there's no there's no official dog, but there's a mastiff, so let me just give it a second. You could just transform into a mastiff. Like that's one of your ro that's one of your Yeah, one eighth. Yeah. Challenge rating one eighth of okay. is a is a mastiff. Which which is one of the I think one of the only dogs in D D that isn't like a a magical one. Like I, I don't think I don't I don't think you're looking for a blink okay, dog or a death. For the sake of this, let's say you turn into like a freaking herding type dog. Uh 
border collie. Yeah, like a border collie. And I start barking at the sheep to get in my pen. Make me an intimidation check. Oh no! What's your intimidation? Oh god. Oh no. Oh, it's plus three. That's not bad. God, I swear to god. I swear to god. Please, Nat 20, Nat 20, Nat 20, Nat 20, 12. Nat 1. 12. Uh, nat one. 12. <clears throat> You're able to your pen. To both of them or just one? Just one. There's no way I can win. They're probably wondering why this freaking water ganazi just turned into a freaking dog. What'd you say, Peppers? They're probably wondering why water ganazi just turned into a freaking dog. Oh my gosh. Alright, there's one sheep left. What is Hoot gonna do? He's going to pick up. No! (laughs) Rock, rock, rock. (laughs) <laughs> Luke picks up three rocks. Make me another deception check. Yeah, oh, if you roll another nat twenty or like another or a nat one, it'll be that'll be fucking hilarious. I swear to God. If it's a nat one, it reveals the fact that all the other rocks. Yeah, rock. greater than R. This is twenty plus the modifier, which is five. Eleven. Eleven. The man looks at you for a moment, not really saying anything, and then slowly says, or then says, You think I'm a rock myself? I have eyes. (laughs) (laughs) Alina, press X to doubt. And throws it at him. Don't. Yes. (laughs) Are you going to yeet the sheep at him? You know, make me an attack roll. <laughs> Isn't that 1d20 just like, and then plus uh, your range? Deck? I mean, it would be, a, I mean, if you, you could just throw it, it would be a ranged thing, but it would be an improvised weapon, so it would only be, uh. I'm just typing it, just in case. It would be an improvised weapon, give me a second, let me just double check for. <laughs> hoot, just hoot stuff. This is uh, so stupid, oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, probably. Chaotic. I'd probably say just pretty. Hmm. I don't know just how improvised weapons work, but uh, I'd probably say just do it as a plus three, maybe. It's just half of your hit DC if you want to do it like that. That's one way. Uh, if you want to do it for... I swear to God, if you get on that 20. It's not going to happen. Shit. If you get on that 20, though, I'm going to. Nine. Please be in that one. A nine. Right. So the rock flies at the guy's head, and he's able to very easily swat it out of the way. <laughs> Just back. <laughs> <It's a flying laughs> Watch Noah to find sheep. He threw one of the fucking rocks at a sheep. Okay. Um. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> he sees the sheep, quote unquote, sheep flying at him. <laughs> And he's able to dodge it and looks shocked for a moment because he's wondering, how the hell did this little kenku pick up and throw a sheep? Does he realize it's a rock, please? No, this is one of the rocks that he thought that he thinks is a sheep. He thinks it's a sheep. He doesn't realize it's a rock. Oh my god. And Um, he's going to look at who and says, get, get out. You're not. You're not allowed to play here anymore. And then he's going to say, the winner is what... And he's, he's the winner is... He's okay, to, I, what's your name? Just, I'm still a dog right now. Well, you can, un, you can undo it. I know, I'm just... I unwild shape and, like, Brooke. Brooke Waters. And he's going to say, the winner is Brooke. He's going to give you back um, five pieces of gold for your uh, trophy. Yeah. Oh, Lois forgot to tell you. Also five for yours as well, because your arrows. Oh, oh, okay, sweet. Thank you. Uh, I, I knew I should have casted Guidance. 
God. It's not cheating. It's called making. Out, giving like a slight sign in their head over to the balancing one. <laughs> Alina, see this. It's just gonna like we'll look over to Bui and Daria, seeing the fact that they're probably next, and just go. Did we just witness that? <laughs> I'm just laughing. <laughs> I, uh, I, yeah, we just witnessed that, right? I, I'm not going. I'm not losing my mind here. We just witnessed that exact incident unfold. Yes, you did. I. Um, oh we all did. But, uh, and I and like I walk over them, and I was part of it. I, yeah. You know, I, I'm just I'm just gonna walk over to the Kanku, pat their shoulder, and be like, "If you need any help, just ask me, okay?" Wait, what? I didn't hear you. If you need any help, just ask me, okay? No one would notice. <laughs> he just nods and just gives him a, like a slight smirk that he's able to somehow do it. <laughs> this is great. Um, yeah, he's heading over to the balancing game now. <laughs> Does Bowie or Darius want to do anything? <laughs> Please, Bowie, do the freaking. <laughs> please do, do the. Um, yes, I can actually do the rope thing. Yeah, just burn. Well, it's Bowie again. Bowie Hoon! Oh my god! Bowie versus Hoon. Just I see. keeps getting completely outmatched. <laughs> see, I, I wasn't saying much the first half of the campaign. Now here's where it's all coming out. <laughs> All right. The two of you walk up to the man that is for the balancing rope. He's going to smile at you because he had just seen what happened with the sheep. And he's laughing. Like, he thought it was quite funny. And he's going to say, I'm hand at the rope, I see. Hey. The bird or the cat? Who just um gestures to the rope, letting Darius? No, Bowie. No. Bowie. 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 Yes. Go. So I'm going first. Uh, what's your movement speed? What? Uh, oh, your movement speed is already okay. Yeah, it's only a twenty foot rope, so you're good. Um, okay. Make me an acrobatics check. <laughs> oh boy. Can I take off my can I take off all my armor and gain advantage? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. 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 I have advantage. Yay. Okay, wait guys, I'm gonna use my wand. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna use your wand? No. No, I use my wand ooh. <laughs> <laughs> your one ooh privilege wand per stream. Uwu. <laughs> we all get one whoop per stream. <laughs> it's greater than R. God damn, I, I said R, not E. Ah, my tablet's slow. I have bubble I'm wrap. I'm having fun with bubble wrap right now. <laughs> Pink oh, <my> God. God. <laughs> That's a 22. Oh Wait, don't All I also right. take feet? So, huh? Wasn't there also a racial feat or something? Uh, you, yeah, you, you uh, have um, feline agility, which allows you to double your movement speed. Either way, you I'm fucking, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I oh should my. know. I play at the backsy. <laughs> I use feline okay, agility. So, yeah, speaking of which, are tabaxi fun? Yes. yes. Very. So... <laughs> Bowie hops up onto the box and begins walking across the rope. And it's like she's just walking on normal, a normal stretch of road. Like, it's very easy for Bowie as she walks across the road. And the rope is even um, swaying a little bit from the wind. And she's able to very easily get to the other side. The people that actually fell in the mud before her 
clap for her and cheer, although some look rather annoyed. And <laughs> some say, of course, the cat got it. But besides that, everyone seems rather excited for it. So, Mr. Bird, shall I cast Bless on you to make, it, to make this even? Fuck off, cat got your tongue, he says, and walks up to the top of the box. <laughs> All right, so hang on. Before you do that, the man gives um, Bowie five pieces of gold. I am no longer broke. <laughs> I'm going to say that out loud. I am no longer broke. <laughs> All right, so... Off armor to make it to get advantage sure okay so that just means you roll twice oh, okay so instead of doing 1d 20 do 2d and then isn't my acrobatics plus six as well yes <laughs> please get that one please get in that one, please get in that one. Nat one. Nat twenty. 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 Your modifier is six, by the way. Okay. So greater than R space two D twenty plus six. What you get? Give me. Your, it doesn't do anything. Get, give me your laptop. It's being stupid for some reason. I believe it. D twenty plus six. Oh no, you. You could just do the, you could just do RT twenty plus. The first you know, one is sixteen. Oh, okay. First one is sixteen. Wait, do you guys not know about the advantage thing? No, twenty five. Ooh. Oh my fucking god. Nice. <laughs> All right, so. Just like Bowie, who is able to cross the rope with relative ease, and he gets to the other side without any fear of falling into the mud below. And again, people clap for him as well. And just like with the man before, he gives you five pieces of gold. And he, congratul he congratulates both Bowie and Hoot. Hoot holds up a hand for a high five. What what's that gesture you're doing? He's asking what you're doing. He looks at his hands and then just cl he claps both of them together, but then points at one hand and then points at your hand, Bowie's hand. Okay, Bowie's just gonna awkwardly like just raise her hand up and just pat. He gives a thumbs up, being like, that works. <laughs> because Boo Booey's a, I think, far traveler. Yeah, she's a far traveler. So she's foreign to basically everything. Which includes high fives, apparently. Alright, so that leaves two more things. There's a ball toss and a horse rodeo thing. Alina is going to look over to um, the Darth and just go, would you like to do anything before? Because these guys have taken up a lot of the stuff, including myself. You don't have to do anything if you want to do anything. Uh, yeah. Um, Extra gold's there. always new. Yeah, I was going to say that Darius is probably going to fuck off from the fair and just go back to the shopping district to do a little bit of last minute shopping. Wow. Let's see how it is. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> That's a mood. Okay, well. 
How about you just play one game real quickly so that you can get some extra gold along the way? And besides, look at Alina. She wants you to do <laughs> Alina's just like, just kind of just like shyly, just like, um, no. <laughs> just obviously just nervously, just kind of just backing away very slowly. Quick, do the puppy eyes. <laughs> Wait, did you actually say that to her? Yes. <laughs> Alina just kind of like goes a little bit pale, just goes, uh, no thank you, I won't, please don't call it puppy eyes. <laughs> As as such as she says that she's gonna like kind of just like nervously kind of like grab her left arm and just kind of just like hold on to the bandage around her left arm. Just yeah, please don't call it that around me. At this point, I'm just assuming she got attacked by a dog or something. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oof, sorry. It, it's fine. Just nothing to worry about. She's gonna say very sheepishly and just kind of slowly walk away from the group. I walk towards her and like. Yeah, I split off in the group with her. I'm like, hey, you, you get the kid? Uh, she goes, so like, so she's like, head and just like, look up to, uh, to Brooke. Yeah, I, I'm fine. Just, I'm, don't worry. It's fun. Just bad memories, but it's, it's nothing to worry about. I'll be fine. Just let's, um, let's enjoy the rest of the evening. And then. Yeah, I, I put myself on her shoulder, like, in an attempt to comfort her. Uh, um, what is. So, would you guys. Go ahead, Barb. Or, Lo, sorry. At least just be like, oh. Um, this is the rare thing. People barely do this to me. Eh. Alright, would you guys like to do anything else since Darius left the party? Let's see, um, I have five more gold. Let's spend it on some mead. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, we you still- offer a huge barrel of mead. You can't- why would you want to buy some? More. It's a joke. <laughs> It's a joke that Bowie's gonna say out loud. Uh, Alina's gonna like. So what were the last? Two? It was a rodeo and it was ball tossing, right? That was the last two. Yep. Alina's gonna go and just go. I mean, I have a little bit of experience with horses. I, I mean, uh, I used to grow up in a village where I used to look after them. So maybe I could give the rodeo a go. You know what? I might as well do that too. <sighs> right, I think I'm gonna go to the ball tossing thing. All right, since there's only one of Bowie, I'll let him go. I'll let her go first. All right. Okay. Okay. So, Bowie, as as Bowie walks up to the shelf where the balls are, um, balls. The man, the woman that's in charge of the ball throw, smiles at you and says, "Would you like to give it a try?" Sure. Why not? <laughs> She's going to hand you three balls and guess you to um, three bottles that are stacked on top of each other. Um, question. What are the balls made out of? Flesh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very important question. Wood? Wood. Oh, okay. Damn. If it was like leather or string, dear God, she has to make a wisdom saving. <laughs> no. Do not be tempted. No. Yeah. What? So, so it's wood. Okay. That's wood. So. That just ruined my plan, so. <laughs> Sorry. Just gonna. Just gonna. So. So it, I guess. And that's thing. Right. So yep. make me three strength. What? Strength. Strength. I need to be strong. Extra strong. strong. If you don't get higher than thirteen, you're not knocking them down because they're weighted. Thirteen. Okay. Is that for one or all three? That's one. Okay. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm getting low. Nat 20, two. nat 20, nat 20. Oh, nat one. You nat throw one. the first one, and it hits. They barely wobble, and but they stay in place. 12. Fuck. That's a 12? 
Same thing. Okay, I'm going to go. Like, I got to pee really bad. Go pee. God damn it, I hate my tablet. 16. Ooh, 16. nice. All right. You throw the last one, and you hit it right in the center between, like, where there are the three meet. The first one, mm -hmm. the one top falls off immediately. And two on the bottom wobble for a minute. And you're able, they're finally able to fall right over. Yes. The woman seems surprised. Like, you're the first person that the entire evening that has knocked over any of the bottles. Huh. I'm guessing it's because the things are rigged. 15. No, no, no. The 1d20. It's just your strength modifier. She's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna smile at you and say, "Congratulations! You're our first one of the evening." Wait, wait, what? No one else has been able to knock down any bottles. Uh, okay. I'm not that strong, but what? <laughs> Bottles. I'm not. Like, this is not her saying it. This is me saying it. The bottles were weighted. Yeah. She had it fixed. I had the bottles at 15, yeah. and you got a 16, so you were able to get it just barely. Okay. Okay. So um, Boo's just gonna be confused <laughs> because he doesn't know that these things are weighted. So okay, I guess. She's gonna hand you um 10 pieces of gold just because you're the first person on the day to win at all. Ten pieces? Yeah, oh, ten boy. pieces of gold. I am no longer broke again. <laughs> and she's going to smile at you and say, congratulations. If you'd like, you can go again. Um, you know what? I'd rather watch my friends now. I, ha I think I got enough gold. No. You're my dice back. I have 17. Fuck you. <laughs> Leave my dice alone. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna go back to the horse thing and watch, you know, the other two. She weighs at you as you leave. Yay. Alright, now let's say all four of us, everyone besides Darius, is at the horse stable corral thing. Who wants to go first, little ladies, is what the man says. Alina looks to Brooke, and even though they're not here, so shit. Um, Alina, well, I'll wait for Peppers to get back then, so. Because Alina's going to gesture to Peppers saying, you want to go first? <laughs> okay, well, I know Brooke is 30, or like in her 20s, but the man is quite tall, so he's still going to call them. You, he's still going to yeah, call Brooke them. Is, people. Brooke is 33. I remember everyone's yeah. characters ages way too well. Anyway, um, yeah, Brooke is 33, but uh, first Alina will gesture to Brooke even when they get back and be like, oh, you can I go first. <laughs> Just wait for... Get to get back. back. Oh, welcome back. Right. Perfect timing. Okay. See what happened. Um, pretty much the fact that we got, we got to the horse rodeo thing and we were asked who wants to go first and Alina said, you can go first. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go first. <laughs> right? So, uh, what would I roll? <laughs> uh... Animal handling, I guess? Maybe a combination of rolls? Yeah. Uh, what about... It's well, hmm... Uh, trying to think. Well, I mean, because we've been bucked off the like, horse. What about like a on, what about a, like a dexterity check to like stay on the horse, and then like a animal handling check to calm the horse? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because this horse, it's it's barely broken in. Like it's even when it's like contained, like the little corral thing they have, so that people can get on the horse. It's struggling against the corral that it's in. So when you as you get on, I want you to roll a dex saving throw and animal handling. Oh. Animal handling. Okay. Oh, oh, go ahead. You can go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alina's offered you first. She's offered you as the first victim. Oh, no. Her animal Smart. handling is six, and your 
De- Dex dexterity is two. two. Yep, I'm rolling Dex first. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that's bad. No, 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 hold on. Animal handling might save me. Uh, might. Nat 20. Nat 20. Nat 20. One. 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 Oh, what? No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. All oh, right. Where's my... Hang it didn't on. save me. No. <laughs> Animal handling failed you. All right. Hang on. I'm supposed to be the druid. Hey, hey. Pepper. <laughs> Pepper. <laughs> It's just like he has left the he has left the party. <laughs> Did Peppa die? Wait, what 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 happened? So what? What's your armor class? My armor class is currently sixteen. Okay. Oh, no. well, what do I roll for damage? Uh, for a horse. Um. Uh, I, let me check. Give me just two seconds. I'm gonna just cheat and use the emeralds. I, I say it's the same as an. Centaur's charge. Or you could look at just the horse. Oh, yeah, no. give me a second. That's what I'm checking now. Oh, so, no. So, I rolled an at 20, so it definitely hits. Uh, uh here we go. <laughs> Whose is... I'll, I'll, hits, DM, I'll DM it. it. I'll DM it to you. Actually, wait, Peach, uh, let me just ping you. Three plus four. Yeah, there we go. I ping. There we go. So you can see it there. That's the six one, right? Yeah, so weapon attack is plus six, so it means it would be one d twenty plus six, and then the damage is, of course, the two d six plus four. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna do two d six plus four, correct? Yes, that is. Is what there is any modifiers I'm doing onto it? No. I want to cry right now. No, that is. This, this is that's I, all. Oh, gosh. Okay, so. Brooke is going to get on the horse, and she, she's able to hold on for, like, two seconds, and she gets thrown. And she, as she tries to get up and run out of the crowd before she gets kicked, she's a little too slow. Oh, no. <laughs> what? What happens to me? You get kicked right in the ass. No. And it, oh, my beautiful you're gonna take ass. six points of damage. Ow. Oh, my beautiful ass. <laughs> you took six points of damage right to the ass. Um, no. My ass. Um, I didn't roll it twice. Hang on. Well, my when beautiful ass. Alina's seeing this, she's going to use Druidcraft to make a sound. Uh, like a sound of um. Just the sound of some like of like an animal roaring to kind of scare the horse away from Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish we had face cam. <laughs> I'm frowning. <laughs> so yeah, did did you hear that, Peach? <laughs> All right, the horse goes to kick Brooke. But as it does, it hears the sound of a dis- of a distant roar. It quickly runs back into the corral that is usually being contained before people can ride it. Hey. Damn it. <laughs> so, so wait, so wait, does it actually do the damage to me or like No. No, I say Alina saved you using Druidcraft. Hey. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, thank you, kid. I mean, no, no, like, no, Alina did it subtly. Like, she, she didn't, like, go, oh, I cast Druidcraft. She did it very subtly, so the fact that nobody knows that she has it. So she yeah. did, she just kind of, like, just waved her, like, hand just very soon. Just, eh, eh, there we go. Just did Druidcraft. No one said anything. <laughs> okay, so I, like, thank you, whoever did that. I'm really sorry. <laughs> thank you. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go cry. I thought I was gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Does my passive wisdom actually? Oh, you say verb. Sorry. Does my passive wisdom of fifteen allow me to, you know, know who did it? I would say probably, like 
for me. Like, I think mean, it wasn't like super like she wasn't like secretly trying to hide it properly, but she wouldn't like she was she didn't like alert it to everyone. Like she just did it like kind of like like in front of us, so you could probably see if you just like took look to her, and you'd probably see it easily. <laughs> so she didn't hide it, but she didn't like let it. She didn't like put fireworks behind her and it's like I cast yeah. it. <laughs> At least just gonna go to Brooke and just go, are you okay? Um, my, my pride's hurt a little bit, but... <laughs> it's okay, well, it's my turn next anyway, so wish me luck. I will, I mean... Okay, so as Alina goes up to the corral, they're actually taking out the horse from before and replacing it with a new one because it was scared from the druid craft. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies! So you're now dealing with a different horse. It's the same breed, but still. Um, I'm just gonna say, like, oh my gosh, huh? I was an idiot. Why didn't I cast animal friendship? <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> an idiot. So, are you still gonna do it? Uh, yeah, I'm still gonna go for it. So, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna roll a deck save, and I'm gonna roll animal handling. This is my deck save. 18 for my deck save. <laughs> and then... And not one for my animal handling, though. Oh. Ooh. All right. You're able to hold on for a good period of time. Like, I must say about five seconds. You're eventually thrown, and you try to get the horse to move away doesn't really work out, but you're able to run out before the horse gets to you. Oh my gosh, almost the exact same thing happens to us. <laughs> we, I mean, I, at least I didn't roll shit on my um, uh, <laughs> deck 30. At least just kind of like, dusts itself wrong. off, but kind of just like gives us all like a bit of a determined look and just goes, slide me up, I'm, doing, I'm trying it again. Again? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know again. what, I'm trying it again Bam. as well. Well, Alina's already going up first. She's already like, move, Brooke. I'm going first. <laughs> nah, she's just she, she's gonna like just give like a wink to uh, Brooke and just say, just be careful. You might get something else roaring again. <laughs> Wait, is that you? Alina's like just gonna give like a smirk before going ready to just do it again. Let me roll my deck save. Do decks. Twenty-two. Oh. <laughs> 25 manual handling. Oh! <laughs> All right. Lois <laughs> is able to hold on for the full 10 seconds. And as you do, the horse is bucking as hard as it possibly can for the duration of the 10 seconds. And everyone that is watching is cheering loudly. Like, they cannot believe that a 14-year-old <laughs> girl is able to handle this... <laughs> This, like this very large horse like there's full grown men that wasn't able to hold on to this horse for even two seconds and they all watch in amazement as the horse also comes down and you're able at the end you are able to walk this horse calmly in back into its stable <laughs> no <laughs> Alina is gonna very like such a very calmly walk the horse back into the stable and just very just gently stroke it on the head and just go see it's all right I know it's a, I understand how it is to be afraid but it's okay before before just very calmly just um getting out of the uh, of the pen and just looking and just looking to Brooke and um to Brooke Bowie and Hoot and just going Yo. I mean um that was nothing um, Yo, oh my gosh. It must be that half elf charm you have. <laughs> I don't know what charm I have. I definitely have none of that. Yeah. I'm sorry, but Con you're a bean. We're just a tiny social anxiety kid in just the corner, just like ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, all right. I'm, is Brooke I'm, gonna I'm, do it? Yeah, I'm still gonna do it again. Okay, so by the time Brooke back gets back up there, the horse is getting. Um, it's just like it was before, before Lois, or before Alina got on it. Your horse seems very agitated now. Yeah. You know what I'm doing? Huh. Animal friendship? I'm casting animal friendship. <laughs> Make okay, a wisdom um, save. 
Give me wisdom. Uh, it's in, if you look in DM rolls, its wisdom should be there. It it has a plus one to wisdom. And then the horse gets a nat twenty. <laughs> no. Yes, nat right, twenty. So I'm doing one each twenty with a plus one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What a get. So, horse. But what a get. <laughs> what are you doing to the horse? But what did it get? <laughs> what are you doing to the horse? I'm just gonna go up and like go up to the front because like you don't go up behind a horse. That's a bad idea. And like you're just gonna pet it softly and like hop on. What it roll? I'm gonna let you have narrative control right now. Just I'll let you know what you rolled in a second. I, what what it roll? <laughs> you got a three. Oh yeah, no, it's charmed. Yeah, I know it this is. This thing, yeah, yeah, this thing is my best bud for life. Um, I like, I pet it gently. I'm like, yo, what's up? Um, if, if you don't mind, like, I just go around and like, kind of hop on top. I'm like, nice, good horsey. <laughs> Thanks for not trying to kick me in the ass this time. <laughs> good, good horse. All right, so Such the horse. Good horsey. The horse pretends to buck because it doesn't want to scare you. It's a buck for a few minutes, a few seconds, at least 10. So both you and Alina made it to 10 seconds. And then it calmly walks right back into its stall. <laughs> Oh my god. I, I walk over and, and over to Alina and go like do jazz dance. Nah. You, you cut out you cut out, what'd you say? Like I put my ja- like jazz hands out and like nah. <laughs> Alina Alina's just gonna just laugh and just go Yeah, I mean she's gonna like just kinda like just like just give a little bit like a smirk and just go, I mean, if it wasn't for me, you'd have been kicked in the ass by the uh, that horse last time. And she just she's gonna like just give like a little pat on the brook shoulders before just kinda just slipping away with a little bit of a smirk on her face. I, I go I, now, I, how I, much I, does a horse I, cost? I, I, I turned what who's like next who would be no. next to me? No um, bird. I, I turned whoever's like next to me in like our group and like do jazz hands and Magic. <laughs> Magic. Listen, like, Burb. Listen, Burb. We have a pseudo dragon. We have a horse. We have a mouse. <laughs> not I, enough. Think, <laughs> <laughs> uh, at some point, Rook is going to get an animal co- an animal companion. That's going to be four animals. You don't need another horse. You oh say that. You, okay, I'm just now. Look, looking at my group in Rise, they've had a total of like nine animal companions. <laughs> oh, I'm looking in my group and like in this other campaign I'm in. I mean, this is that's the campaign I tamed the nightmare. So, oh Jesus, y- yeah, yeah. I so... want a flaming horse of death. <laughs> it's honestly the best thing, and I find it hilarious because my character is like she's like. Got a cold personality, and then just this flaming hot horse, and it's like this thing's mine. This is my child. <laughs> You're not wrong. All right. So, as Brooke finishes up her last round, the sun is beginning to go down a bit, and people are starting to head home. Uh, so I'm assuming you guys are gonna head back to find Darius. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Let's go. Well, we've had some yeah. fun here, but let's uh, let's go find Darius and uh, well, get some shut eye. Yeah. Well, I don't need much sleep. I'm, you know, a uh, half of it's kind of a thing, but uh, uh, yeah. 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 As such, Alina just kind of like you know just pulls in a book, just just pulls out her journal, which I do have. I did post a picture of it, but I will repost a picture of it, and um. She's gonna pull it out and just kind of just like look at the lock and just kind of just go. I need to finish this tonight anyway, so um, but I'll finish this later. She's gonna put it back in huh. her, her back and just go. No, no, it's nothing. It's just a little diary of mine, so I can just keep track of where I'm been in case if anything happens. So I'm not the only one who keeps track of their lives. Uh, no, no, I don't know. no, you can't. 
No. <laughs> no. So, well, this is my first experience with a what's called a fair. So I guess I'll be writing about that. <laughs> that's. I mean, I guess you could say that's fair, but uh, that's also that's yeah. fair, but the fair. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> right. yeah. So you guys head um, back to would... town, and after, you're actually able to find Darius without much effort because the town square is not anyone that is not human or human variant. The only people in the square that are not human is Brooke, Bowie, and Hoot. And because of this, the three of you are getting some very looks. I, I wave at some people looking at me, like, <laughs> happily. He <laughs> so grabs the dagger in his pocket, being like, I am about to run. <laughs> hmm. I look like sarcastic like, but like okay Hi. um <laughs> is there at all okay peach is there is there any groups of people that are giving is there like a group at all at one point that give uh, any dirty looks to the to brook hoot and um buoy there is a small group of men sitting outside of a nearby tavern that are staring but they're not saying anything <laughs> Okay, um, can I know what I notice those people as well? Because I have an idea. Oh, um, no, are, are, are they... Like... Yeah. Are they giving... Yeah. I see, are they giving want... uh, dirty well, looks? Are they giving all dirty looks to uh to the group? To yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna see them. I'm gonna like... Three. Hang on. Uh, like... Sorry, I can't yeah. do your Peach, thing. what did you say? Sorry. I said they're all giving dirty looks towards the three. Okay. Um, I'm gonna class. I'm gonna roll sleight of hand to subtly cast druidcraft, and I'm going to make the smell of a skunk appear around all of them. Oh my gosh, that's better than what I was good. <laughs> oh damn. What's my sleight? Yeah, what's my sleight of hand? I was just gonna roll intimidation. No, I was gonna. You didn't do that. I rolled a twelve. I gonna... Fuck. So it I wasn't. Was I wasn't like... too subtle, but um. I'm still gonna like cast it. I'm still gonna like, just try and subtly kind of cast it. I'm just gonna cast a smell of skunk around all of them, so they're gonna they're gonna smell the skunk spray. One of them could have swore they saw you move your hands, but they they quickly ignore it when they smell the very horrid smell of the skunk, and they all quickly disappear inside. I was gonna I was gonna like blow, no before they go inside I blow them a kiss. <laughs> Alina just Alina just kind of just looks to um looks to Brooke and 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 the rest of them and just goes, nobody gives my friends dirty looks. I mean, if you think I'm a friend, I think you guys are friends. Uh, sorry. Oh God, I already just know you and I already call you friends. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> you're, you're like a first I, I daughter. Like, like, oh my gosh, not saying anything. Like, I'm just like pointing at her like all dramatically. It's like I love this kid. <laughs> <laughs> just parental mode is engaged. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, everyone is over by Darius now. Do you want to say or do anything in particular? So, um, what have you been doing? Oh, uh, um, we, uh, magic a horse. That's all I'm saying on that matter. What has the Darius been doing? I've been trying to find the person that's supplying to you and Elena with tea. I'd like to get some before we go on a trip. I doubt they have anything good we're going. Elena just kind of just very okay. quietly. Not you, JP, at all. Um, Darius said the fact that he was wanting to find tea, but Elena's going to speak up about that and go. I may have bought a giant box that is literally like 21 months worth of tea. I think we'll be okay, but um. I, um, yeah, uh, sorry, I shouldn't have talked. Sorry. Uh -huh. 150 gold worth of tea. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry, I spent 300 on balls of yarn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, I mean, uh, uh, Got alcohol now. We got alcohol. We got tea. 
Um, I mean, it's also gonna just like kind of just like rummage, like go and on the cat and horse and stuff. I also bought like a rain catcher, so we're not gonna run out of water. So we'll always be able to find water as long as it rains. And um, well, uh, yeah, we'll probably yeah. resort to the alcohol before we resort to the rainwater. Also, um, be care be careful around the alcohol bill because there's also twelve flats of alchemy fire. <laughs> uh, initially go. I thought I didn't want to blow alchemy fire. It, it's what? I don't uh, know. You know, let's keep the flammable things and the alcohol very far from each other in the car. Agreed. Oh no! I have uses for that keg, and it's not just drinking. <laughs> All right. So, as you're t all talking amongst yourselves, um, no one really seems to notice until he's already there, but the guard captain has made a reappearance. Oh? Hey. He smiles at everyone as he walks up and says, I hope the, six, the five of you had a good evening. Yeah. yeah. He's just gonna give like a little nod and just go, Yeah, I have. Um, yeah. Not gonna do what I thought. Just give him a thumbs up. <laughs> just a little thumbs up. All right. He's gonna say, uh, The king wanted me to inform the five of you that instead of sleeping in the inn, he has provided a house for the five of you to sleep in tonight. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Then. So, if you will please follow me. Uh Peach, uh question, what like what phase is is, is it like a clear night sky and or like and is the what phase is the moon at? <gasps> oh. Oh damn. It's a crescent. It's not full. Okay, cuz I'm asking cuz I think it's just going to just like take a look up to the sky and just kind of just like kind of just give a <sighs> Before going into the, before following with, before carrying carrying to follow the the, the group towards the house, but he's gonna like okay. at least give it give it like a bit of a long stay. Is it okay? Also, other question: Is it like closing? Like, is it like going from a full moon down to a new moon, or is it going from a new moon up to a full moon? Um, new moon to a full. All right. Um, Alina's just gonna just kind of just like stare at it for a a few seconds, not like just full on freeze and just stare at it for a few seconds and just. Longer than most would, before kind of just shaking your head, hoping that no one noticed, and is going to carry on following the group. Uh, yeah, kind of well, like no, he's just like, oh, pretty star, don't care. Stare, he stares at the sky all the time. <laughs> <laughs> in, in like well, sadness, Boo. probably. Mm. Bowie no, Bowie yeah. knows this is the best looking up at the sky, and she's just gonna comment on the moon. The moon of the rising claw is my favorite moon of all. Um, I don't really have a favorite. I kind of just look at them all, but um, I don't particularly like the full moon. But that's just because I have a fear of uh, things that come out during the full moon. Werewolves, vampires, things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, especially werewolves. Ah. Also, sorry for about the puppy eyes. It's okay. Anything as Elena says that? Uh, no. We can go first. No. It's just gonna stand next to her and go to protect the growl, just in case. Let me just kind of just well, gonna just. And look. then I realize, that, like, no way. I just like mid realize wolves, like. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I am so sorry for earlier. I turned into a dog and I was <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 no, Brooke, Brooke, it's okay. I'm not afraid of wolves. It's just werewolves. I really don't like them and I would prefer if they stayed far away from me and I would rather not run into one. Um, don't worry, I haven't actually encountered one so I don't know what they look like aside from seeing in the member. It's okay. I just... I'm just not a fan of it because I used to live in a village near the woods and I used to hear howls a lot during the full moon and it always scared me as a little as a younger kid. Oh no, I totally okay. I totally get it. I have everybody has little fears of I have, <laughs> Yeah. I have fifteen gold. 
I have 15 gold. I could buy some silver blades if that makes you comfortable. Uh, don't, um, mm, no, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll just... If you say so. It's just, I just like to keep an eye on it because I, it's just a bit of a childhood fear, even though I'm still a child. It's just a bit of a childhood fear that I've never really gotten rid of. Like, even young though, childhood. Yeah, like, a, a, young, young. a younger childhood fear that I should yeah, get no, rid of. Yeah, no, like back when I was 14, I had, like, ironically enough, yeah. a fear of the ocean. Um, <laughs> As a water gymnasty. It's, it's got a story behind it, but, um... Yeah. Wait, a fear of the ocean. <laughs> A fear okay. to the ocean as a water entity. Okay, yeah, mm, yeah. Not exactly the fondest memory, but. <sighs> but we all have uh, tough let's just time. That. So, as you're all talking amongst yourselves, the captain finally cleared his voice to interrupt the, the three of you. Oh, right, sorry. Please um, excuse right. me, it was getting quite late. I, I, Alina look very guilty and just kind of go. I, I, I just, yawn oh, and I'm like, yeah, okay, let's go. Alina's gonna go very, very quiet and just say, I'm sorry for delaying the party. I'll, um, it won't happen again. I'm sorry. It's not he, waves, he waves a hand at Alina and says, It's quite all right. She's just gonna kind of just like have her eyes down and just still just kind of will be looking at the floor. He's going to lead the party a little bit towards the castle and, li and a little bit toward um, the house he leads you in uh, towards. It's in the district where the um, the guards and their families tend to live, which is where Hoot was earlier. If you'll wait a minute, I can actually post a picture. Just a second, guys. All right, so it's sending. So the house is, I put it in spectators. The house is in the district that has guards that where the guards and their families live. And the house is made of stone and there's plenty of windows and there is actually the the yard around the house is very green like it's very well kept it's obviously it is obviously owned by the royal family for something you know, not I, sure I don't, what but... i don't mean to interrupt but my cat's being a drama queen right now fluffy what the frick do you want from me uh... Oh wow, that is very pretty. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wow, that's Ooh. pretty as frick. Um, just, just gonna mutter under breath, going, "I feel too no. poor to be in this house." <laughs> the guard gestures towards the house and chuckles a bit. It says, "This is where the five of you will be sleeping this evening. There Sweet. is more than enough Sweet. rooms, so." Pick up whichever one you like. He did not specify where you had to stay. This is a significant this, improvement for my little hut. <laughs> this is a significant this is not improvement. A house. This is a castle. Ellie's just gonna just just laugh and go. Eh, it's a significant improvement from living in um, well, abandoned farmhouses. <gasps> Yo, what? Who's just gonna against the door and just like glance around at everything? You know what? No, I'm not judging. Nope. No, no, not gonna judge. I, I live Sorry, where I could have totally you know, lived in the end. Tut King. <laughs> yeah. Alicia's I'm gonna, not sure I'm she gonna, heard. Alicia's gonna just kind of just like look over and just go, I'm not this skinny by. I'm not this skinny fully by choice. Yeah, um, I give her like one of my rations to tell her just. No, no, it's, it. oh, no, I've, I've already eaten, I have, I've bought plenty of food for myself, it's okay, it's just... Well, you better start eating more. Ah, I will, maybe, I don't know, I'm not used to eating a lot of food. I'm used to eating maybe two, once every two days. No. Yeah, now, now you're gonna start eating every day, okay? <laughs> okay. I will let like, you feel, but not, yeah. 
uh, if we're like near an ocean, a river, sea, or but something, you on the like, and, like, you'll be arrested or beaten to death. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say something, thing, but if we ever find like fish, I'm gonna cook you like the best fish ever. Okay, it's like a specialty. It's kind of what happens uh, when you live on the coast. Okay, um, okay, I- I'll take no. your word for it. So, um, before the captain leaves, he turns and looks at. He gestures at Bowie, Brooke, and Hoot to get their attention and says, If you value your lives, please don't leave this house before the sun rises. Listen, don't take kindly to people who are not human. So please stay in the house until the sun has risen. Well, now you just. Literally, Brooke. Stay in the house. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take your word for that. Yeah. People here aren't nice. Not at night. Alina's okay. Is there like any, how how like is there like any place in the garden that someone could just sit down? Yeah, there's a backyard garden. It's pretty secluded. Like there's some pretty decently sized trees and some hedges. Like even. Like, if any of you were out in the garden, no one in the garden can see you. All right. Well, Elena's just going to go, well, if you guys want to go to sleep, you guys can. I'm just, if you need me, I'll be sitting outside the back garden instead. I don't, I'm not, I haven't really slept in a proper house in a while, and I'm more used to the outdoors sleeping. It follows her, just grabbing the blanket. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is there, like, a pond in the garden? There's a canal next to the house, but it's not hidden by the garden. Dang it. <laughs> um, you know There's what? a bath. <laughs> there is a bathtub out there is a bathtub in the house. Yeah, I'm gonna go put some water in that and just chill. <laughs> <laughs> like, Alina, Alina's gonna be sat somewhere out in the garden just in the dark because she's not used to sleeping inside a house. Like, I'm not gonna I'm like I'm not gonna sleep in that. I'm just gonna like chill for a few hours, like feel good. Uh, what's Darius doing? And Bowie. Darius is gonna go and find a small room. Just lay claim to it. Alright. Oh for fuck's sake. Wait. Before 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 Darius leaves, Bowie's gonna hand him, like, the rest of her 15 gold because she does not trust herself with gold at all. If that's fine. He's gonna look at it before turning back to her and saying, I'm not going to accept this. You need gold look, to I don't, the rest of this. Look, look, I don't trust myself with gold. Oh, I do know that I'm gonna either buy something Sets things on fire, or yarn balls, or alcohol. <laughs> that too. <laughs> well, I suppose I could hold on to it for you, but there's no like small like animal noises. <laughs> if you're not gonna accept it, then I'm. I might find someone else who will. But thank you. I'll hold on to it. I could put it in my bag of holding. But I'm not okay. keeping this. You're gonna have to take it back eventually. Well, I'll just save you the trouble and keep it. I'll find someone else. All right then. So, where's the water, Janafi? Um, I'm in the bat. Like I'm in the tub. <laughs> I'm not in the tub right now. But you can like go like barge in on me and like bat <laughs> like. <laughs> Bath time role play, guys. We're already getting well, into those thing. levels. That's exactly <laughs> what we're uh, gonna do. All you get is like a, probably like a random small fact of like what she wears or something. I don't know. Bowie's gonna enter the bathroom. Okay, so she's taking her like leather off, and fun fact, she, her shirt is never buttoned. Okay. So? That's what it means. Small random fact. <laughs> And it, I'm gonna it, be like, it, why? Why? <laughs> why what? This is this is me time, not you time. Yeah. 
Like, I'm assuming that, like, I've prepared some water here, and, like, I splashed it at Billy. <laughs> Wait, th she's already in the tub or something? No, no, like, I'm getting water ready, like, there's water, like, getting ready. Oh, okay. Well, since yeah, you're like a water genasi and you're, you know, filling up a tub, I'm just gonna toss <laughs> 15 gold in there. I'm just gonna toss 15 gold in the tub, and then just um, wish for okay. good luck, like at the fountain. What, what the fr- Okay, whatever, fall gold. <laughs> I am now broke again. <laughs> <laughs> so, at this point, after you give her the gold, is Bowie gonna go find a room or play some place to rest? She's most likely gonna rest in the garden. Because she does not okay. know what a room is. Well, okay. So, is are you what you want to do anything else, Lois? Well, if well, if Bowie goes out to the garden, he's gonna see Bowie and just kind of like look up. Uh, she's probably gonna be just about start maybe about to start writing a journal or something, and she's gonna go, Bowie, shouldn't you go find a room? Um, maybe? Is that a uh, thing I'm supposed to do? Yeah, uh, you know what, uh, give me two seconds. She's gonna stand up, walk over, and she's just gonna go, follow me, I'll find a room. I'll show you, I'll show you. Well, I'd, ra I'd rather see, I'd rather see the moon of the rising claw, instead of being inside of cramped there are space. There are windows, walls. there are windows, you can look out the windows and see. Hmm. If I can't open those windows, I might as well punch one. Punch one. You can open mm -hmm. the windows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Uh, I'm sure you can. Look, um, as such, Alina's gonna, like, I guess, is Alina, is we gonna follow Alina to find a room? Yeah. Well, Alina's gonna take Bowie around, go through every single room that isn't preoccupied, and find probably the best room that has the best views of the moon. Hmm. All right. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna go. All right, uh, if you know anything, I will be out in the garden. I am staying out there because reasons. So I'll be see you morning, maybe. Okay, bye. And she's just gonna close the door for Bowie, and she's gonna go back onto the garden, lean against a tree, just put the blanket kind of around her. She's like, she's gonna start writing her journal, but she's gonna kind of like put it aside and just kind of pull up her legs. So the fact that she's able to just put her head between like her her legs, she's just gonna just kind of slowly, kind of not fall asleep, but she's just gonna just just have her just have her eyes closed, and she's gonna be, kind of just be quietly shaking, very subtly shaking. It's gonna notice because he's in the tree, <laughs> and like making like, really like like quiet like ambient sounds. Oof. Yeah. Meanwhile, Boo's just gonna do her bedtime rituals. Oh, actually, wait, hold on. Uh, well, I'm in, like, I, I'm in the bathtub now. I'm gonna be, like, drawing. I don't know, or what, like, painting, drawing, whatever. Freaking, uh... Pro problem. I'm gonna be drawing those, like, guys at the t like, that were, like, looking at me from the tavern, like, <laughs> being jerks and stuff. Like, really, like, caricatures of them and me, like, being all fabulous and blowing them a kiss. <laughs> All right, as everyone quiets down for the evening to go to bed, they, everyone does their own thing for the evening. And that is where we will end for the session. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Oh, dear God, we went for a while. Yeah. Well, I'm going to end the stream now. So if you guys want to say goodbye. Toodles. Ooh, ooh. Stream, I'm in the basement. You know her address. Someone come find me. I've been here for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Remember, like, share, and subscribe. That's my only hope. And yes. comment down below to enter the free gift card giveaway so I can escape once and for all. Free us from this prison. Why, thank you, guys. One million subscribers. Right, ending the stream.